Hello, good evening, and welcome to our Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle, L.A. by Night. Tonight we bring you Season 4, Episode 3, Voice of the Dead. Speaking of the dead, let's meet them. My name is Alex Ward, and I play Jasper. Hi, I'm Erica Ishii, and I play Annabelle. I am Josephine McAdam. I play Eva. B. Dave Walters. I play Victor Temple, undisputed Baron of the Valley, and it's good to get back to work. Before we start tonight's tale, let's thank some special members of our coterie. We'd like to thank the master crafts people at Dogmite for my beautiful screen. It's nice to be reunited with your screen. Hello, how have you been? Oh, me, I've been fine, thank you. <laughs> we especially want to thank Backblaze. Backblaze is a special part of our coterie this season because they are supporting the whole season of LA by night. Uh, they have been instrumental in making sure that the family can stick together. Backblaze is an incredibly useful cloud backup service that protects all your files, your videos, your LA by Night fan fiction, your LA by Night fan art. Anything that's important to you is safely and securely stored in their system. It's easy to retrieve. Show them some love at backblaze.com slash LA by Night so that when the second inquisition wrecks your ShrekNet, you'll be ready. We'd also like to thank Level Up Dice, the master crafts people who bring us our official Vampire the Masquerade dice featuring all your favorite clans, all the factions, even those pesky thin bloods. We'll have some really cool Level Up Dice photography for you during the break so that you can get a close up look at these beautiful D10s. This is the world of darkness. And in the world of darkness, cities are not the only things that are built with architecture. The parts of kindred society can also be arranged in many different ways. And the links between the leaders and the supporters reveals a lot about the schemes and the loyalties of a city's vampires. This social architecture of a city is the political complex in which all kindred must reside, even the outcasts. Traversing this social landscape can be similar to gliding along the highly polished marble surfaces of a regal palace of governance. Or it can be like trudging and skulking through the dirty, shadowed alleyways that run maze-like behind a city's posh clubs and hotels. And sometimes, for some kindred, it can be both. Mapping out this land of monsters is not easy but all too often it is necessary. Not only for safety, but also for making a chance that unlife can be about something other than just surviving. With this firmly in mind, let's tell a vampire story. Thank you. 
Where are we tonight? We are in North Hollywood, or NoHo, that diverse, vibrant neighborhood in the valley region of Los Angeles, just west of beautiful downtown Burbank. Strangely, despite its name, it's not part of Hollywood. These steep, ravine-cracked hills of the Hollywood Hills separate it from its namesake. This is the home of the NoHo Arts District, the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, the Valhalla Park Memorial Cemetery, and Universal Studios. It's an important transportation center. Hundreds of thousands of citizens pass through NoHo every day. This part of the valley is famous for being a center of culture and the arts, especially the performing arts. There are diverse art galleries, working theaters, music venues, professional dance studios, and the largest concentration of recording studios west of the Mississippi River. And as we know, it's also home to the hot new sensation known as Club Maharani, which attracts, even after months of being open, all the top acts all the influencers who want to see and be seen. And this is the headquarters of the Temple of Boom recording empire and the haven and seat of governance of Baron Victor Temple. And it is at Club Maharani that we join our kindred tonight. It has been several nights since incidents and accidents have occurred, leaving some of our kindred a little the worse for wear. Two nights have passed since the events that happened at the Deep nightclub, and one night has passed since the events that happened in the labyrinth. So those of you who have sustained wounds that are serious have an opportunity to heal. Jasper, I'm, I'm shocked that you are I know, right? suffering from an aggravated wound. Mm. Uh, it's just one aggravated, one aggravated wound remaining. Death. Okay. Three rouse checks, correct? Three rouse checks to heal it. You'll heal the wound no matter what the result. Mm -hmm. This is just to see if you add any hunger to your one hunger die. Uh, excuse me, to your no hunger dice. Uh, that would be, I add two. Two, so you begin at two because I believe you started the night full. I started the night with zero hunger, yes. Mm. <laughs> two hunger. Eva, you suffered no damage whatsoever as a result of the altercation That's in true. the labyrinth. Mm -hmm. So you don't oh, have yeah, to worry yeah. about it. And Annabelle emerged physically unscathed from her encounter with Carver and Aurora. And Baron Temple, unless you've been up to something we don't know about, uh, Annabelle, Eva, and Victor should begin at Hunger One. What the hell happened to you, man? I mean, like, I know I haven't seen you in a couple of nights, but I just, like, I, should I even what? ask? What? I'm fine. Are you surprised? I mean, no, it's very on brand. It is very yeah. consistent. I mean, things happen. Look. But nothing we need to worry about. Uh, nothing. Great. Nothing we no, need to no, worry nothing about. Nothing that needs to, you know, I mean, yeah, but no. It's not, you know, with the Camry or anything like that. It's just like personal turmoil and death. You know? Normal stuff. What? It's okay. You are far more wary than my <clears throat> adventurous associate over here. Is there, is, there, is there something we need to be worried, like more worried about than usual? Okay, well, look, I mean, there's a problem in the, the, in the labyrinth that needs to be taken care of eventually. 
It's just going to require some firepower and such to take care of. And it's definitely related to the camera. I mean, I guess it is. Wait, you guys like have been back in there since the last. I, I got, I got the mirror fixed. It worked. Yeah, ish, kind of. It technically worked. It worked, but um, it hurt. It. It was, it was different. To us. I mean, it always hurt. Like it was like, ugh, no, like no, I don't exist anymore. Like, like, like caused more. physical wounds. I have no idea what anybody's talking about. You know, like the, the place. It's all like the Escher painting. You never like you. You, you, you haven't been. You've been. I mean, we got down, down, down there, there, but uh. Oh, look. Um. Right, you were gone. You were at the nines, I think. Weren't yeah, you? yeah. Yeah. I've been been busy. Uh, look, we we went down because. Quick overview, uh, I in my labyrinth, um, we found ley lines, which are like magical spider webs that connect all over the city. Uh -huh. And we found out that if uh, we pumped magic into them, we could affect the structures with which they connected to, which means we could cause like actual structural damage to Camarilla places, which would be a great thing for our whole war thing. Uh -huh. um, but then we uh, went down there and the, the Strauss and uh, Aurora and some other people were down there yeah. and it turned into a whole thing. And yeah. uh, it was the thing. I, in order to trap them there, I broke the mirror connection that you guys we, we went right. through. I shattered it, and then I got it fixed. And then we went back, and there was a trap. Uh, ooh. Two questions. Two questions. Right. I will give them both to you. Answer in whatever order you would like. All right. Yeah. Sleeping dude, still there? Yes or no? No. Ley lines, what? still there? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, also. Someone took Sleeping Dude's place. Excuse me? Uh, gargoyle? There's a gargoyle. Excuse me? Labyrinth. Yeah. The ley lines. Gargoyles are... Yeah, gargoyles are the same. You know, I didn't I just, know either. It's, it, it's, all, it's all a thing. Like, it's just... It's just wait, you see wait, this? Wait, like, so I'm not even surprised this time. See this? This is me not being surprised this time. I just need to... I actually wanted to talk to you about that. I need, like, firepower. Like no, literal like, fire? Like you mean like send like send some dudes? Like you like No, I mean like I need to use it, they're not gonna last down there. I mean, yes. We need to go kill the thing and eventually not The gargoyle? Then, you have to kill the gargoyle? It's not nice. I no, don't know that. It beat the I, shit I, I, mean, out of me. I think he does, not, actually. That's the That is belongs to Strauss. It was there to stop us. Uh, to hold us until Strauss could come and collect us. Mm. Okay. Well, Third I, question. I'm disappointed. F I'm that, he, that they're alive? What? They're disappointed. I'm sorry, are you my mom? Why are you disappointed? I find out that there's gargoyles and I find out that they are not good. Oh, okay. In the same but, afternoon. But now, but hold on a second. All the things you found out are real. Didn't you immediately find out afterwards were terrible though, if you think about it? Maybe that's fair. Ghosts, werewolves. Vampires. Vampires. Third question, third question. If this was a Strauss trap, did you guys break the truce? We didn't do anything. We didn't kill it. We didn't. That sounds like victim there. blaming. Oh, also there's a truce. Yeah, no, I know that. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, 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 no. If anything, anything, I guess that happens above the ground. I've been mostly briefed on. Right. Um, yeah, no, that sounds like a them problem. Yeah. yeah. It's no, but it's an all of our problem. It's an all of our problem. I don't know if it does. When did this happen? Last night. Has it been only last night? Campbell. Sir? Seen anything weird on the cameras outside? Weirder than usual, sir? Yeah, weirder than usual. Last night or two. Hmm. Unmarked vans, strange groups of dudes. Campbell reaches into a pocket and consults his notebook. Well? There has been uh, increased activity in um, street violence in the neighborhood in the uh, last week or so. Seems to be mortal gangs. A mm. um, lot more graffiti than usual. We've had uh, to bring on some extra help to keep the, uh, the building clean. Uh, keep track of the tagging, though. There's a lot of information in those things if you know how to read it. Shall we take photos, sir? Please. Yes. Do get rid of it, mm -hmm. but... Uh, there was a... Um, Oh yes, there was uh, someone who set up shop outside the um, outside the club on the sidewalk uh, yesterday, claiming to be 
some sort of uh, visionary psychic. We had to in ask him to move the along in the daytime, sir. Huh. Had to ask him to move along. He got uh, he got quite irate about it. Keep track of that too. But sir, the fact that no rockets have hit the walls is, is probably good. good. I think this was less of a truce breaking, more of a personal thing. But you guys are okay. I mean, now we got out. It's still down there. <sighs> so do I gotta go down and fight a gargoyle? Yeah, I mean, like, well, I mean, we, like, we, we all it. could, but if I got some firepower, like say things that kill vampires easily, I'm just not so much, you know, punching stone only does so much. That's why I try and avoid it. Um, okay, all right. Well, you, gotta, you gotta think. You're waving a shiny thing out. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I got my, my rosary. Yeah. But Catholic? I had this adventure rosary. Like, I mean, you know. I, I don't I just, know. Okay, so here's the thing. Did you get that made? I, d- I mean, maybe, but I mean, don't, do you want one? Is this like one of those sort of things where it's like just the aesthetic of Catholicism is really cool? Like, no, the Romeo La Sombra have ruined that Nicole. for me. Like, it's not, it's not at all. That's not, it's not hot to me. No. Um, no, here's the thing. You know, this, it, you know what it is? Those freaking hunters, man. That, like, true faith thing, like, really bothered me. Like, it really did. And I just, I just like a reminder of what's important to me sometimes. Sorry. I did. That's fine. Victor, I'm um. Confused. Am I to understand that you have a rosary that has the Ventru clan symbol attached to it? That is exactly what I've got. Which, of course, is part of the symbology of the logo of the Maharani. Exactly. Although the the symbol on it is it is a pure Ventru symbol. It does not have my crown. It is not, not the Temple of Boom logo. It's okay. the real clan Ventru logo. And can we assume that the, uh, the giant flag with the Ventru clan symbol and crown logo is still hanging from the front door? Until I can find a way to make a bigger one. Mm-hmm. It will remain, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Campbell uh, checks through his notes again, but there's nothing, nothing of the sorts that we've been through before, sir. Uh, and the cameras haven't. Just do me a favor. Just add one more patrol. Everything's good. The walls are standing. We're not on fire. Just, 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 just one, one more pass. Can slip into the rotation. I understood. There's a truce, sir. Until there isn't. Until there isn't. Mm. Yeah. Convenient question, though. Um, what's yeah. this building made out of? Well, you know, again, you recall, I was trying to plan this to be our stronghold, and then we kind of had to fast track it. Is it made of stone? What are you asking me if it will survive? Well, no, if I, if I'm I, asking if you if I may, it's made sir, of I have stone. the schematics. I could bring them up. Uh, y- yes, please. I mean, yeah, there's a, it, it, yes. Gargoyles move through stone. They what? If they can move through stone, they can get in here, but they theoretically, mm-hmm. as far as I'm led to understand, can't move through metal or wood or anything. Well, I mean, it's like reinforced with metal, but I mean, it's like there's like concrete in it. Yeah. Well, if it's got wood paneling or metal on the outside. You see the wood paneling, man? But can you like, can you ward it? Can you do something? Uh, Didn't we already ward this place? But like, again, so there was wards and uh, ghosts, like ghosts and, and, and werewolves vampires and, and ghouls, werewolves. But yeah, right. But they're, they're technically vampires, right? Yes, I could ward it against vampires, but I don't. We might have to ask. The weird sisters or something. That's I don't have to do one person. warding circles. You know, we have enough literal and figurative firepower to just go down there and head them off in the past. We do. That's what I'm saying. I mean, this might not be necessary. We could just kill the thing. Okay, are we on a timetable here? Do we have to do that tonight? I, or? I mean, I don't know if we have to do it tonight. I mean, it would be sooner the better, probably, but it's... Um, I mean, you know, yeah. If, if you, whatever you need. Like, I, mean, I mean, I don't want to... Okay, the, we'll put a pin in that. But, well, but there's, there's, there's another monster loose in the horrific hellscape I mean, that you chose to live in. Great. Everybody might know where I live, so that's another thing. I, ooh. I don't know. It, so, wait a second, but you guys fought it. Did you, like, hurt it? Does uh, yeah. it regenerate? Like, should we As much as we do. Gargoyles are made out of vampires. Excuse me? As far as I'm led to understand, am I correct in saying that? Correct, yeah. Tremere, I mean, you know better than I do. Tremere make gargoyles. They're enslaved to them, essentially. Fighting machines, very dangerous, but they hurt the same way vampires hurt. So, for the first time of the year, nay the decade, we're screwed by Tremere shit. Great, awesome. Hey, can you make one then? Wait, hang on, if Tremere make them, can you? It's a bad thing. I, 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 I won't do that, no. Also, uh, 
Kyoko was with us. Campbell's just taking notes. Uh, when I went to pick up the mirror, she came with us. So she... Kyoko is rad. Yeah, she's fine. She got pretty fucked up, though. Yeah. Wait, you've met what do you Kyoko? Mean? Is she okay? Uh, she got in the way of some lightning. She met a Griffith. I, we had... I. Well, she's okay. She got no more hurt than I did. Oh, okay. She's, she's better. I gave her some stuff. It's fine. I uh, also... Nelly sent Greg what? with yes. us. Really? H- how did Greg do? Uh, uh, he fine. He got vicariously electrocuted, but he's fine. Oh, vicariously electrocuted. It traveled through some people. Some I, people. You know, I tell people not to touch me. <laughs> it was it was an accident on everybody's part. But he's fine. Greg's self-preservation is certainly still high up there. Yeah. You know, I can't blame him. Though. I mean, she like, did send him. I thought he was expendable. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, he's not not expendable, but I mean, I guess it's good that he's still alive. He was fine. He's fine. Oh, He'll be oh. fine. He, I've seen him worse. Oh, buddy's a champ. Um, so point of, point of order uh, about the truce. Uh, did did you guys know what happened to Rodrigo? <laughs> I was pointedly asked that, and I said I did not know because I do not know. Yeah. Counter question, counter question. Would you like to continue to not know? That, that, um, that answers my question. Yeah, yes, it's you. Um, uh, Who asked you? Aurora, Aurora asked me the question. (laughs) Um, she doesn't know? No, and uh, uh, oh, we my. should definitely keep it in this room. Uh, it's like January. How can she not know? Or maybe she does and she's messing with my head. I feel like if she knew, I would have been dead already. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like we'd all know if she knew, actually. Sir, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm, I'm taking notes as fast as I can about all, all of this. Um, I'm not sure exactly what direction to go in yet, but um, I've just been advised that... Um, uh, Miss Kyoko is uh, approaching the club. Did we like say her name three times? Like, how I don't know. She's been around all the time lately. I don't know what's happening. Well, well, it is house night, sir. That's true. This is when we I, I have people come in for business. You're By the way, this hour? this this what you hear? This we're we're rolling this out. This album's gonna go like triple platinum. Like this will be number one Billboard Hot yeah. 100. Nice. Yes, Mr. Jasper. What, he, house night is the night of the week that um, that my employer um, plays house family. music. No. Uh, you can come to the Baron and ask favors and pay fealty. More like that. <sighs> this is the day of my daughter's wedding. You know, say it's oh that sort God. of thing. I got a ring, though, to kiss. <laughs> I, I, I guess, better question, has anyone kissed it? It's, you know, it's more It's more the implication. It just, I just, there was a time I needed one and I didn't have it yeah. and then it was weird. And now I've got one. When did you, you know. I don't think know, you're telling the truth. I, I, yes, please, let, let show, show her in. The special, hey! special K. Hey! You thought I didn't know about that. I did. I did. Oh, you yes. saw that. Oh, well, I, mean, oh, I saw it. Baby like, you know, B oh, and special oh, wow. K. I'm glad you've embraced it. I'm glad. Just let it in. Wait. Let oh, it you know, hard. I kind of like it. I like that name. I'm, I'm going K? by that now. Special K, isn't it great? I came up yeah. with it. When? Uh, it. When put on the spot in a club line. Wait, when? So. Here's what I was getting to next. Uh, we saw Aurora at a club. I don't know if you might have gotten the bill yet for uh, something. <sighs> you should have. That was a while ago. The Deep. The Deep. The Deep. Might have deep just, club. might be a. Oh, that would explain a few things. Well, no, I just thought that was like an acquisition. Like I just, I figured no, we, we, just we don't like put an order in. It's like, not part of the company, sir. It's um, it's a nightclub in um, Van Nuys. A nightclub Yeah, in we got Van a bill Nuys. for. Yeah, Van Nuys is a Twenty thousand dollars, I think. the The accountant wanted to speak to you about it. Oh. A lot of broken furniture. Um, uh, there's a whole. Uh, there's a list. Wait, is, hang on a second. Wait, yes. you guys went and wrecked a place and sent me the bill. We didn't wreck it. It was we didn't do more it. of a... definitely that you that that uh, 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 no uh, just shut up shut up. up. <laughs> uh, hold up. <laughs> That's Hang on, not fly. I'm not paying for anything until I at least find out what happened. Well, you didn't pay for it. That there's Aurora uh, and some dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot that happened. Uh, what happened okay. to your hair? Uh, Wait, no, this, first like, off, I yes, just, it, this first. 
That happened when she was with the straps thing. Uh, when there was the trap with oh. the truce. She mentioned it. That happened after, uh, Victor, after everything that went down down there. Uh, I saw her later and that happened. Yeah, because I did, because Hester did a thing and I didn't, I mean, I'm glad you're alive. Yes. But... I'm, well, I'm, yeah, I'm, you're okay. a lot. Yeah, I mean, okay. So, I mean, we have, uh, we had Aurora looking for someone. When did this happen? Eyes. Just to mm-hmm. start off. All right. Uh, a couple of nights ago. Skipping here. Uh, we, a couple of nights ago, we went and made contact with the Thin Bloods. Oh, wait, a couple of nights ago. Hold on. Literally last night, you told me you hadn't been out in months. I did say that. I did say that. I it said was a there was a lot night that out. happened. A lot happened. Okay, look, like there, there was the the, 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 the the club and the thin bloods. We decided to keep it on the down low until we can all talk about it. Okay? Yeah, like this. Um, right. But I mean, then like the gargoyle had, we, I was just trying to go out and have fun, explore the ley lines again and, and everything and uh, Why would you come with me? The Strauss. And honestly, like, all I can think about is to Jasper and Eva Bang. That's all you can think about? I mean, there's a lot on my mind, but, like, that is very recent. Well, first of all, I feel like they, it should be obvious they, that the answer is yes. So let's that, move on to. You, I have so many questions. You, but you, don't you understand. do not want to know any of the answers, believe me, at all. <laughs> do they what? Did you? I saw. A th- I feel like I'm holding. I'm secrets. sorry, sir. Oh. I, I feel like I should excuse myself. Would you like me to? You want to want me to take that from me, Campbell? No, <laughs> no, I've got it, sir. Okay, okay all right. Sorry. It's, yeah. Hey, look into that bill. Buy everything around this club. <clears throat> Let's <clears throat> do that for me, please. Why is Thank that you. any of your business? It's just look. I, I'm keeping so many secrets. Campbell excuses <laughs> himself before he loses it completely. Thank you, Campbell. I just. I got. I, I'm sorry, repeat what you look, said. Look, Ever no, since. No, there's no uh, need. There's no. They mm. did a thing. I saw them do a thing. It wasn't the. It was the. It's, no, okay. I don't know what I can say anymore. She didn't see us. You're all giving me eyes. Look, but there's so much to say. Look. <laughs> I generally hurts. didn't hear, but it seems like it'd she, be a funny thing for you to repeat. I was just wondering if they smashed. Oh. I mean, I guess, like, Look, vampire smash, she saw probably. Nothing like what she's making it sound like she saw. Oh. What did she, <laughs> yeah, I she like, saw? I was like, she saw something that Ooh. was a necessity in the middle of a crisis situation where one of us was about to frenzy. Yes. If not, then win. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain, actually, right now. But, still? Uh, hmm. Fine. I, Kyoko. I, Kyoko, you are still suffering from one aggravated damage from the night in the labyrinth. And um, you did drink the healing elixir that Eva gave you, so that healed some, but you are left with that one remaining wound. Uh, If you want to, you can call upon the power of your vampire vitae and attempt to heal it. You might get hungrier. Is it apparent to me that she is burned? Uh, now that you are close enough, you can see the vestiges. She's carefully and artfully hidden it, you know, under her hair, maybe a bit of makeup. Yes. Is she the other people that it went through to get to Greg? Uh, she would be the main. Yes. Oh my I'm God, sorry. are you okay? I'm sorry, I just wanted to help. I know. Look, things it's... happened in simultaneous situations and people got hurt by collateral. Gargoyle. Usually, uh, Hester helps me out, but I there's so much that I haven't even told her yet. Y- you can rest up here. It, it's it's fine. I, I, okay. I don't I don't mean to be offensive. It's just I I realize you're young. You know how to you know how to <laughs> fix I, this. I don't normally. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. I yes. think that's a no. Just, just you, you don't, you no, don't, do you? I, okay. I don't um, usually get hurt this badly. Uh, it's first of all, uh, welcome to the valley. Um, mm. Second of all, and I'm you, sorry, Kyoko. You're so cool. It's amazing you did that much damage to me. That's whoa! <laughs> Please Good. teach me don't, some. Da- look, I'm not a ma- look. I'm just, not a role model. Don't follow. That's not what I mean. Or an unusual oh, person. Sorry, I'm just. Wait, I'm look, trying to make. Let me help you with the situation. Let me help you with the healing thing. Okay. 
just all right what do i do you feel that pain right yeah just imagine it being gone like see your body healing it see your flesh repairing just concentrate and will the blood and make it do it okay kyoko do you want to give that a try yes, I need to be. so yeah. <laughs> concentrate on the pain the pieces of your undead skin and flesh and okay. tissue beneath roll three hunger dice i got two two successes two successes and one more uh, she did roll the three. She's one fail and two successes. Uh, one fail and two success. My, my apologies. So, after a few moments of intense concentration, a couple of false starts where you feel you almost got the hang of it, but not quite, you do begin to feel the damage receding. It's like ice on a burn. It's like, well, it's like um, that drink of blood when you're really, really thirsty, calming, satiating. You feel the undead tissues begin to knit and mend together. The only downside is that whereas you started the evening at only one hunger, the failure on the roll means you now have two hunger. So you got a little hungrier while you healed yourself. But all in all, not bad at all. Yeah, no, you got it. You're, you're hanging oh, on your point. See, there you go. We, we got oh. That. Boom. There oh. you go. Yeah, and yeah then you nailed can... it. First try. Right, yeah. So easy. Yeah. So easy. Thank mm -hmm. you. Nice yeah. job. Thank yeah. you. Okay, look, just to get this out of the way. You can make whatever inferences you want, but let's just drop the whole subject of that between I don't want to make those inferences, Great. but yes. Let's just drop it. Do I, I do, do you want me but to make I her forget? your privacy. Like, what? Do you want me to make her forget about it? No, the, the, fine. Okay, right. She didn't, just her. About she didn't actually see anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm just... already uploading my fan fiction. Do I'm not... kidding. I didn't write it. Just do not. When go... would I have time to do that? It's just in my head. Okay, look. Let's get back to oh. you. You saw Aurora, importantly. That is important. So, the deep. Went to this nightclub owned by the leader of the uh, Duskborn. Oh. Delilah. And yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we yeah, met. Delilah. She yeah. owns a club. Um, yeah. Yes. And uh, things things got a little rowdy there. Things got a little rowdy. How many bar fights have you been in now? A lot. Good. All right. Great. <laughs> I've promised them our support. Didn't we do that? Already? We did that already, didn't we? Sort of, but I mean, you know, it's, good, it's, good, to, it's good to renew. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Yeah. And I think the camera is real scared of them. The prophecy mm -hmm. and everything. Oh, God. It's kind of, it is a, it's like a thing. Aurora said yeah. that they are dangerous. Hmm. Why would a powerful elder like Aurora think that they are dangerous? Elder. Are you, is it that superstition? It's like I told you, it's, you know, it's like imagine if it was written that like, you know, the oceans would turn to blood and then it happened and you're like, no, but it's just an algal bloom. It's like, yeah, but the ocean's still red though. And it's like, it, it's, it's, it was foretold. Campbell returns and interrupts. Sir, I'm sorry, the lights may do a few strange things. We're trying to reroute the uh, light board downstairs. Part of the new security setup we talked about. Daylight the, protocol, the protocol. That's, that, but that will work, yeah. right? Campbell, because it's kind of like a holy shit button. Like, it must work if I call for it. We're testing it tonight, sir. Well, let me know before you do. Or I won't pleasant. at all. Yeah, no, great. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get it right before before sunup. Please do. Yes, sir. So there were enough excuse kindred. Me, uh, excuse in me. Oh, so, sorry, Campbell. Please continue. Sorry. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I swear to God, Campbell. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, you. I just, I felt it was implied, Campbell. Like, I mean, how did you? Did we... I actually don't want to know, sir. I'm not suffering alone. Excuse me. Uh, I'll just see myself out. Y'all grow up. Jesus, how old are you? Like. 
50. Wait, I mean, she was at Woodstock. I'm agreeing with you. I'm like. I... Anyway, there were enough kindred and thin bloods there. <laughs> but when things got rowdy, uh, you know, it's uh, got scary. And uh, but everything seems to be fine. But Aurora is looking for her brother. Wait, hang on. There's still a vital missing piece here. Like every time Aurora has shown up, it was to do something awful. So she just happened to roll into a club. You just happened to be at to look for her brother who she hasn't seen since before the club was opened. Like, no, like, why was she there? Well, we were kind of all over social media about it. Yeah. Mm. I give Annabelle a look that's like, look. Why not? <laughs> I'm just gonna put this out here. I understand that you're hiding something. Go ahead, just move on. All right, just let me know before it's my problem, because I already have, it's you know. Not, it is not your problem right now, I it, promise you. Aurora still is, and uh, Thin Bloods. Thin Bloods are, uh, there's something, there's something there. I mean, I, I appreciate you e extending the hand, you know? Um. I think, I don't know, I'm getting really concerned with all the stuff that's been happening. Why were there, why were there traps in the ley line area? Well, we made them mad. The, the ley lines are obviously a powerful asset. It'd be better if they were in our hands, but obviously the camera also wants them. I I do feel like we've learned two important things, though. Mm. The ley lines cannot be destroyed, or they would have. Or they I want them. I don't know that Strauss would destroy this. But he also didn't leave, like, a massive occupying force because he could. I mean, he trapped it, sure, but he didn't put he two left. dozen guys down there or something. Oh, he left yeah. quite a bit. All right, look. We went down there, we went through the mirror. First of all, just Epa and I, and then afterwards, Kyoko and Greg. And um, there was a, they had left some duffel bags down there. The ones they had taken in there with them when we were down there. We opened one and out came a disembodied hand with an eyeball on the back of it. Crawled out to kind of look at us and see us. We destroyed that. When that happened, the gargoyle triggered, came out of the wall, blocked the entrance, and told us that we were supposed to wait until its master came to collect us. Specifically us. I think specifically Eva and I. Oh. I don't know if... He mentioned our marks. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair, he did. Any chance it wasn't Strauss, but Garrick that left it. Because uh, Garrick was there. It's just we I ran know. into them before. I don't think so. I think this is Strauss. Um, or both. They work together, don't they? Also, Greg got a call from Nellie, and I have no idea how she knows these things. Yeah. But the Tremere apparently were on the move, which meant they got the signal that we were trapped, at least in my mind, and they mm -hmm. were heading to collect us. Now we got out but I don't know how far the gargoyle followed. I don't know if it knows where my haven is because through a unfortunate set of circumstances, we had to flee through my house. Oh, Jasper, I'm sorry. So they may know where my house is. I mean, you could stay here. I'd have to move some things in. You got a lot of stuff. I mean, just for now, just to be safe. You yeah, I have things I don't want them to have. Since you bring up Nellie, this is probably a fairly organic time to mention. No, no, one, one second. One, one other thing, oh, sorry, please. Is this a thing that we discuss in front of company? It's going to be public fairly soon. <laughs> it's going to be public fairly soon. Okay, I wanted to come talk to you guys because of all the events that happened. I don't want to keep so many secrets. I, I want to just, I want to help, but between the things that happened at the nightclub and that the 
the whole gargoyle situation and the, and I don't think this truce is gonna last for much longer. And I think it's wait, a good time to really make those allies. What are you? Wait. We all we uh, we knew it would last as long as it could. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why I was laughing. Yeah. I mean, we all knew it wasn't gonna last. Yeah. The truce mm-hmm. is the time in which we prepare for the next war. Mm-hmm. You are completely right. It is then temporary. Then how has everyone been preparing? Mm-hmm. And how can I help? I've been making moves. Okay. <laughs> Which is? I mean. That is definitely not something we discuss in front of company. No, gotcha. uh, no, no offense. Also, what? by the way, no one try and enter. Uh, the la- Not that you would. I don't know why you would. But just giving you a forewarning to not enter through the last place that you entered. Well, the last time we entered through there was a rescue mission. So, yeah. See, that's thank you. Please. For, I'm, okay. for your own safety. It is, it's booby trapped. Oh, right. okay. well, also, if you need us to go down there. We, we will do that. That I'm is like, something that is on my list of things to do, but. Okay. I go over to my safe. Uh, you are in the VIP box mm-hmm. at the balcony level, the one with the huge two-way mirror that lets you all see the dance floor mm-hmm. and the VIP lounge, mm-hmm. okay? I very, like, very conspicuously, like, <laughs> <laughs> when I and it does not have a tone because I realize there's people that can hear it and would know the combination. It makes no noise whatsoever when I enter the code. So you ever so subtly, yeah, access your safe. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Mm. Right. And when I open it up, I have my other handgun, the spare. Yeah. And I'm like Jasper. Yeah, Kyoko, this thing is awesome. It is a uh, very weird looking weapon. You've never seen it uh, in real life or in television or film. Looks badass. It's a, Whoa! a very large, uh, this one is not gold plated. I carry the gold plated one. This one still looks like the original Hunter this weapon. This is the unblinged weapon. Yes. This is, this, is a, this solves problems. Um, Jasper? Is this not even preparing? I just, I, Without exaggeration, I, I I love this like I love my children. Hmm. Rude. I this is a zone of safety. I speak the truth. Why are you telling me this? Because I love you too, and I hand it, and I'm like, give me that back when this thing is dead. Okay. There's Thank not you. many bullets. Make them count. Oh, good. Now you have Great. you have seen what these weapons can yeah. do against. This them might do it. Other kindred. You did, you think, manage to inflict significant damage on the gargoyle. Mm -hmm. The electricity certainly had a very visible effect on the creature. This might finish the job. Okay. Can you fire guns? Yes, I know how to fire guns. I prefer other methods, but I know how to fire guns. Point and click. I put it in my backpack. Did you ever even test the one you got? Do we even know what it does? Uh, no, I've never had to fire it. I mean, maybe we should like check first because it maybe it like shoots like a happiness ray or something. Like, you don't want to like find out if the wrong that a thing, too. Uh, it, yeah, it absolutely is a thing. We should check and make is sure. It? Yeah, no, it's totally a thing. Hey, yeah. Jasper. If, if your traps go off, are you alerted somehow? If the Tremere were on the move, how do we not know that? No, I'm not alerted anyhow. They're purely mechanical, no electronics. Uh, as rudimentary as possible in order to avoid detection and to try and uh, out-dumb very smart people. Mm. Okay. Where? I'll go there, and if there's a bunch of ashes, I know they worked. Cool. Where's Nellie? Very good question. I could step outside for a sec if... No, you can... Fine. Were, were you finished? Oh. Uh. Yeah, I was just concerned that if you're going back down there and the Tremere were on their way, what if it's a trap or something? You won't go alone. I won't go alone. There'll just be preparations in place to go down in a different fashion and not so openly announcing our presence. Did you use the key? Yes. And it worked? Yes, except it hurt. Mm -hmm. I realize 
our life is crazy stacked on top of crazy, but at some point we really need to figure out why La Sombra Key was buried in the box we found it in and the place we found it in. I know. It, it's, I really, yeah. it's been been a while, but we I know. put a pin There's in that. a lot of answers we don't have. But, um, Hamill takes notes. Uh, so Abrams is gonna be out of town for a while. No, okay. it's a while. I would say a comparable amount of time to how long a truce lasts, as long as he's gone. Okay. Oh. And Nellie is going to be keeping an eye on Hollywood while he's gone. Hi. Oh! What? I give up. I mean, what, do you want it? Can I be a baron of something now? I mean, would you like Because everybody's to? getting one. You don't want No, that. I don't want one. I don't want any of you to be barons of anything. I wanted to be left alone. But apparently that doesn't happen. Excuse me, excuse me. The people that are booby trapping your house are the ones that we help keep away. See, that's what we do. Yeah, that's but the... you becoming baron caused them to look at us in the first place. No, us rescuing them and killing the sheriff is what caused all of this to happen. No offense, but it is kind of the yeah. inciting yeah. incident. Yes, so. It... Anyway. Uh, That's awesome for Nelly. It is awesome for uh, Nelly. We had a lot to work on. So, so is this going to be the new sort of headquarters in Hollywood? And how long is she holding it? And does she need anything? And oh, what's she wearing for all of this? I it's guarantee you, she knows what she's wearing. Yes, she will need all of our support. Yes, she will need our help. I am trying to hold back because I don't want it to even remotely look like she's some sort of puppet. She's got to do her thing and yeah. run her domain. Okay, I'm and sorry. I, I'm, I've been a little sheltered. I did, Can you explain what this means? No, it means stepping into she this. runs Hollywood now. Just okay, that's what it sounded like. That's what but it means. What is, she just he controls runs it. the valley. Uh, is in charge of most vampire things that happen in the valley as far as the Anarchs are concerned. Nellie will apparently be controlling Hollywood. What does uh, this mean for the truce? I don't know. I don't know. And honestly, I expect several people to try and make a play for it. Well, I ex- Abrams was anarch, so was Nelly. It shouldn't change the truth. It shouldn't, but Abrams was a fixture. I mean, I talk a lot of shit about the guy, but he's been there since the 40s. I yeah. mean, he's a pillar. He is, would you say, undisputed? No, he was highly disputed. I disputed him all the time, but yes, mm. but he was a pillar. Abrams that is, is now gone. Who allowed me into Griffith and allowed me to have safe passage in Hollywood? Yeah, and he's who introduced us. You might recall. He is, yes. and with Nelly coming in, certain people of a Ivory Tower persuasion may feel that there's a weak link now. Although, remember, there was whatever that was with her and Suzanne. What you mean, the mind control thing? It would cut both ways, but there's 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 something between those two that could be advantageous or it catastrophic. It's gonna be catastrophic. It's gonna be catastrophic. But it is something to be aware of still. At the very least, there's an open line of communication. Sure. I well, mean, wait between them. D- yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, and it seems to be Nelly a little less than able to control what she says. I mean, she's Nelly. And she's never let us down. Well, I guess. Except when she killed that guy in your office. You know, Whoa. I'm, I'm trying to be supportive. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to be supportive. Well, but if right, you yeah. run the valley, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Factually, I mean, you were incorrect. There's a long list of things I could say that were miscalculations. I'm trying to be. Yes. Yes. I was just saying, if you run the valley and she runs Hollywood, does that mean that all of you are allies now? Like we have all of Hollywood and the well, valley. Yeah, and I we mean, support you. we had we we had a, a functioning relationship even with Abrams. We used to work for Abrams. We did. We butted heads over some things, but we we covered each other. They oh. butted heads over some things. A lot of our headbutting was me covering you, man. So yes, it's I didn't, I we. About you. I don't know what you're but with Nelly uh, again, oh. after the events at the Grove, some people had some stern I, words well, that I myself absorbed. Okay, you were you were already barren by that point. Again, covering for this, but yes, sorry. It's a 
lot of politics. That's all it is. I prefer the politics to the Bernie explodey parts, really. I don't. It's best to stay out of it. Yeah. It's, do, let, let me tank that stuff, yeah. I'm just trying to understand. Well, okay, let me, let me give you the, let me give you the Twitter version. Okay. Anarchs and Camarilla, you're clear on that part, right? We do our thing there, do their thing. Bought a conflict, currently a truce. We're not openly fighting, but we're doing a lot of frenemies, passive aggressive mean girl stuff, it's true, but no active conflict, right? In the meantime, our dear Annabelle here is also trying to rally some of the people in the streets who like to think they can sit things out into maybe being ready to like, unify and mobilize if the circumstances arise because we all know some serious shit's gonna go down sooner than later. We're just trying to make it as far as we can. That's definitely a twit longer. But yeah, it was a thread. That helps. Okay, look, so Nelly becomes new Baron. Yeah. What does that mean for us? It means we gotta split our time and resources. It means that we need every extra hand on deck that we can. And before this really hits the streets in a big way, we have to make sure that all our people are on the same page about this. So we send out messages, messengers with our statement of purpose that we back Nelly 100% and that the Valley and Hollywood, while allied, are separate domains. Unless you want to I think everybody needs to know that she's got our full support everything we've got everyone we know full support have we have you spoken to her about this oh yeah no she and I are in alignment okay there's no playing that we there's huh. strife over sorry sir it's uh from here in the VIP booth, you can see out on the dance floor, all the lights in the club flash a couple of times. The sound system glitches. Everybody looks around. I literally, up, I, You're I, doing great, Campbell. We I appreciate open, you. I open the door and I literally yell out, remix, and then close the door again. Big cheer goes up to the <laughs> dance floor. Everybody thinks they're, they're hearing the next hot thing right now no. before anybody oh, else. That kind of exclusivity is valuable. Yeah. It is a commodity in this business, and they are very appreciative of their host. <laughs> it's what we it's what we do. Are you okay? Um, She's fine. I can speak for myself. Thank you. Are you okay? I'm fine. Thank you. I apologize. We're it's a thing. Wait, we have, we've almost got it, sir. It'll be worth it when it works, though, but yes. Yeah. I don't know about the strobes, though. Uh-huh. Can you make gargoyles? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. mm -hmm. No. No, it's... really. This is important. You seem more... less... Less good. I'm... I'm fine. I don't like that Strauss is coming after me and everyone I care for. But I'm fine. I'm taking it one day at a time. One night at a time. That's all we can ever really do. And I said before coming, so. May I attempt to see if I notice anything about her? Why don't you make a roll of wits and insight? Eva, are you making any attempt to conceal whatever he may discover? No, he I'm is not, not attempting with auspects, so to do anything right now. He is not looking with auspects, so this would be... Um, yeah, this is just my, me looking. Although I'd like to note that Eva... This is a, cha this is a challenging task. Spinning one willpower. Eva tries to never look Victor in the eyes. Try to avoid his gaze. Only two. Only two successes. This challenging task normally requires four successes. So although you study Eva's features minutely, 
you are unable to detect anything unusual. I'm, I'm used to her having a different vibration. I'm like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. right. Well, just, you know, if, if there's something and I can help. What's she usually? I don't know. I mean, but she's usually sitting next to him too, so. Well, he's mad at me, so. I mean, he's always mad at everybody. It's the, why are you mad at her? I'm not mad. Or maybe he is and it's none of our business. What about? Just again, just tell me before it becomes my problem. It's all I ask. You guys, your thing's your thing until it's like, by the way, I didn't mention someone's here to kill us all because of a thing we did. Like just that, that's Nothing all about this is anything other ramifications than what is happening in our personal lives together. I will just say this one thing. I think you're both great and you're really weird and you are what you are. And if you guys get along, you should not take that for granted. That's all I'm saying. She made out with his arm. <laughs> made out with his arm? Oh, um, Sorry. That's, I couldn't keep that in. It's not factually accurate. Thank you, though. I'm sorry. Too many secrets. This very specifically, I was very hungry. We were in the labyrinth being chased by the gargoyle. I didn't want to hurt Greg. So she fed off of me. Well, that settles that then. I wonder why Nellie sent Greg to help you guys, she because didn't. this would have been in play by the time. She didn't send Nellie, Greg to help us. She sent Greg to spy on us. Yeah. I requisitioned him to help. Oh, now that makes total sense because yeah, this I all would have been in play by the Yes, yes, yeah. definitely. Right. And she, she still would have had lavender, so. She that's... was watching us seeing when we would leave my haven. Well, to tie off on the Nelly thing, oh, yes. I have a question for you, Victor. Absolutely. When we were last down in the labyrinth, something's been bothering me. I I was trying very hard not to let Strauss pass to get to the ley lines. And I know that I wouldn't have let him through. But something, something affected me, something made me. I'm going to, uh, I don't want to assume it could have been him, but I know it also could have been you. Uh, so something affected you? And me. Like a, like a ward or a, or a, an enchant? Like a thing. Victor. I will say it was imperative that we not get into an altercation in that room with that man at that time. Victor, did you use your mind tricks on and Eva and Jasper? As a direct result of that sequence of events, the truce was born. And we're all still in one piece. Did you do that with their consent at all? Consent is somewhat no. contrary to the spirit of the thing, but it's that's all neither here nor there. It was just very important that an altercation not erupt with Strauss, Aurora, Garrick, and two machine gun wielding people in the labyrinth. Strauss was on his own. He was on our side of the mirror. We had him. What in your history with that man thinks that would have been enough? That's not your call to make, Victor. It absolutely was. Um, <clears throat> Campbell's voice from the other side of the door. Yeah, Campbell. He's a little muffled. Um, sorry to interrupt, sir. Um, I realize you're discussing things important things, but um, are you expecting Mr. Golden? I both never am and yet always am, yes. Shall I have him wait, sir? 
Would you let Mr. Golden know that we have company and he is welcome to join or wait at his leisure? Should I let him know who the company is? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Campbell. Yes, sir. So, hey. Victor, that's unacceptable. You weren't there? Well, what? Do I have to be here to babysit you to make sure that you don't use our friends like a bunch of pawns? Saving their lives from an existential crisis of imminent destruction from the most terrible thing imaginable. I, I know that it is in your nature and in your clan's sort of code of conduct. To cover all your asses, yeah. To try to be controlling. But you have to give up some control or you will lose it. The tighter that you grip onto the people that should trust you, the further they will slip away from you. Those are brave words from you sitting here in this warm, comfy club that exists still intact because of the choices that you I made. You cannot make. say that the ends justify the means. Oh, I can, and they do, and they did, and that's that why we have a choice. That is correlation and not causation. You can never prove that. I think every one of us that was there knows exactly what would have happened had it gone a different way. And would you like empirical proof of that? They all got the shit kicked out of them by something he made and with his science experiment. Look. You're correct. I couldn't have killed Strauss. I was badly hurt at that time. And I couldn't have done anything. I was still healing from the Hollywood sign incident. Could have used your words. Yes. Why don't you ask us next time? I did. With a little emphasis behind it. So to be specific, although I guess no, you, I was no, knocked you out. You were there, but you, yeah, you. Uh, so you I know what? Hey, her. let me tell you what happened. Please inform. She'd gone through, already knocked out. Aurora there. Garrick, Tremere Primogen there. Two machine gun wielding dudes. There, him badly beaten within an inch of his life. There, Nellie nearby, me, her about to have an episode. See that, that face? It was that face. And Strauss mm -hmm. very clearly was about to fucking vaporize them both. And I had the audacity to ask them to step aside and let him pass. The others were not in the room with us. It was Strauss and all of us. The they guys had with the machine no guns way. were there. You know what? Victor is right, and that you need to watch it. You've had this talk from everybody, and you got to stop putting yourself in harm's way. How and is this my fault? No. Listen, but at the same time, you're an adult. He's an adult, and he can make his own decisions. As much as I care about him, I would never control his mind. I'm not his mom, and you're not his dad. As much as we joke about it, you're not. Let me just tell you one quick thing, because I have no idea when Gary Golden is going to join us. So just so we can make sure that we're all on the exact same page here. If Aurora walks in and you're about to tackle her and I'm gonna like, Annabelle, please don't, I will do that shit. If Carver walks in and you're like, I'm gonna leave and go with Carver to South America, I'm gonna say, Annabelle, please don't. If Mark comes in and says, I wanna go become a Bruja and elope with Annabelle, I'm gonna say, Mark, please don't. Because in the days to come, when you're like, holy shit, I was gonna do something fucking suicidal, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, you were. Yeah, and you didn't, also you're welcome. And I honestly would expect any of you to do the same for me against your will, make decisions for you. Uh, if I'm gonna try and 1v1 Strauss, feel free to grab me and jump the fuck away. Yeah, absolutely. Also, just to be clear, I hadn't made a move when he told me. I had not taken a step, had not done anything, I was just dealing with a very tense situation, fully understanding the capabilities of my situation and that I couldn't do anything to stop him had I tried. Okay, so it sounds like you're doing a little better on the putting yourself in, in harm's way problem. <laughs> uh, but 
We last night was a completely different situation. It happened to me. Okay. Yes. Fine. Victor. Hey, look. D- Victor, you. You I can't. I am sorry that you are upset. I'm sorry you feel like your free will was impinged upon. But again, it was. no, it totally was. It totally, my, totally was. I told my own son, my own flesh and blood, it is worth you wishing I was dead in order for you to be alive. So yes, I saved you and I do not regret it. I'm sorry if that's offensive. And they do this a lot. He cares a lot about everybody. He cares so much. He really does. And that's well, what we got to tell ourselves. That's what a lot of abusive fathers and Hester? husbands say, isn't it? I have met Hester. I think he'd get along, maybe. Just don't. If you mess with my head again, Victor. If you care, please, I'm asking you not to, okay? I've had enough of that. If you do it again, I will be extremely upset. I promise to try and use my words without without emphasis, anything behind them. But it is why we have a truce. Had it gone the other way, we'd be at war and maybe all dead by now. You might just have a truce with two or less pawns on the table. You're at least like Bishop's Rooks. Yeah, um, <clears throat> sir, uh, Mr. Golden, he says he's uh, comfortable with your with your guest. Have you met Gary Golden? No, who's that? He's it's, a real treat. It's a, yeah, it's an experience. Like, Just a, like that other real treat? No, he's an actual treat. He's like treat. me. Just mm. careful any deals you make with him are binding. Okay, good to know. Yes, please. Campbell opens the door from the other side and uh, an individual you've never seen before walks through. Uh, it's a very plain looking gentleman with sandy colored hair, big comb over onto one side and features that you would very easily forget. It's not memorable in any way. He wears uh, the uniform of what looks like a city maintenance worker. His coveralls with the work boots and the, uh, the tool belt, even the little pocket protector with the pens in it. Is this our new cover model? Campbell, is this the guy? Because we got to get him into makeup. We got we to gotta get pictures of this face. What do you think? It Stunning. What's some of your best work yet? It's good, isn't it? Ultimately forgetful. I, it's mm. amazing. It's forgettable. It's great. It's, we're working on a thing. It's, they keep doing that. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, we're working on a new light show. It's kind of like it. trying to compete with Disney. Like is the, like, you know, downtown, like the electric light show. Theme park in NoHo? There's not one. Hmm. Hello, cousin. I always wanted to see you. Cousin. Cousin Jasper. How do you fare? I'm all right. You look now. undamaged. I am at this very particular moment. How are you? A pleasant surprise to see that you are. Can we hope that you will remain this way? We can only hope. We cannot. He changed his face. It's a thing some Nosferatu can do. May I present Kyoko oh. of Clan Tremere? Ah, pleasure to meet you, Miss Kyoko. One hears things. You're a Nosferatu? I am. Whoa. I do have that honor. A Nosferatu of some renown. He is too humble. The Baron does too much honor to me. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you as well. How are things at the Mystic Circle bookstore? Oh, you, great. One hears things. I have not yet had a chance to visit. Although, how would you know if I had? Oh, indeed. That's, that's true. What brings you to the club, Gary? Things are afoot. Many things. I'm sure you have all heard by now, Baron Temple, of the recent change in political fortune Yeah. within the Anarch faction. I, yes. Yes. I, I was probably on a similar 
notification list. Mm. Doubtless, doubtless. I refer, of course, to the abdication of Baron Isaac Abrams. Yeah. He's interesting. I've let them know that he was leaving town for some time. For some time. Indefinitely, I think we may say. I have not yet known any kindred who have left their domains for this particular reason to return. That's not what yet. I thought. Not yet. It is what you think. Uh, it is indeed. Uh, Kyoko, you appear, um, you appear puzzled. Uh, yeah, why don't you explain to Kyoko? Ah. Mm. Definitely, that's the former. Look, uh, we've had it explained to us a couple of times in vague terms. Um, seems to be. Uh, allow me, allow me. All right, all please. Right, all right. Uh, we should all relish the opportunity to be teachers. We were all fledglings once, after all. Okay. Someone had to instruct us, or not, as the case may be. Yes. How much simpler would it have been had someone simply told us what we didn't know? Sorry. Experience. In the best please, choice. please, you have no I cause to apologize. To well, you say that now, but it's not uh. really that interesting. It seems that in recent years, a decade more or less, certain older powerful kindred have felt an inexplicable mm, urge to travel, to leave their homes, their cities, their domains, their empires in some cases, and exit the stage. They have traveled to various parts of the world, some to the, to the Middle East, some to the Mediterranean, some to even farther flung places. One hears things about why they go and what they do there, but nothing reliable and verifiable has yet um, been made apparent. There is some greater conflict happening in these places, and these kindred are somehow, for some reason, called to participate. It happened first to the very eldest, to those of truly ancient lineage, the generations five times removed from the progenitors, uh, and then to their childer, although not uniformly, and then to their childer, and so on. There appears to be no identifiable criteria. Some kindred who are quite ancient and one would think would be valuable participants in whatever conflict it is, remain exactly where they are. Others, less old, less powerful, are called to go. Isaac Abrams is no great ancient, nor is his blood of supreme potency, at least not that I'm aware, and I am, of course, remarkably well informed. And yet, he is going immediately. He has chosen to absent himself forthwith. And of course, he has chosen to uh, bestow, mm, let us hope, temporary custody of the entire barony of Hollywood on Miss Nellie Griffin. Let us hope. Gary. <clears throat> yes, cousin. You haven't felt any rumblings, have you? Rumblings? I wasn't going to be so gauche as to say it out loud, but I must admit I was thinking it also. Rumbling. As, uh... Tugs. Hmm. Pulls at your heartstrings, as it were. Well. One hears things. One, one feels things occasionally. Oh, no, you can't go. Uh, it, is, it is merely a twinge. Uh. At first I chalked it up to indigestion. Uh, a bad snack. You, a bad snack. Yes, I can imagine how some of your standard fare might repeat on you. Yes. Well, we must have you over to dinner again soon. It has been far too and long. Then, you know, now that I'm helping Nellie, it's and just covered up. Lovely, but maybe, yeah. but maybe we can establish a new grand banquet for you to welcome the new Baroness of Hollywood. Ooh, perhaps we can combine it with Amalia's fashion show. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say she's very busy, but I'm going to speak on her behalf. That should absolutely happen. Yes. We'll make it a, a surprise. She would love it. She absolutely will be greatly pleased by this. 
I shall extend an invitation to you and your sisters as well. You must come enjoy our hospitality. You absolutely yes, must. Yes, 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 of course. The, the mm-hmm. cuisine is to die for. Oh, uh, I feel hungry, actually. All right, Miss you, Annabelle. Need, you need me to get something? Well, we can talk about it later. You and your children, how do you feel? You live in Hollywood. We are part of that uh, particular domain, yes, that particular barony. And as you know, we have been largely apolitical until recent nights. Which we appreciate. We take our alliances and promises most seriously. We intend to full our throw, full, throw our full support behind Miss Griffith. Thank you. Thank you. Gary, what are the odds that ones of the ages of Vannevar and Suzanne, and especially Strauss, are not feeling this call. I do not possess, much to my dismay and sorrow, a complete Rolodex of all kindred in the world. Oh, I should enjoy such a thing. (laughs) Perhaps a little too much. Vannevar and Suzanne, I am told, I hear, were embraced sometime, I think, in the 18th century. So they could be several hundred years of age, years dead. That's pretty up there. I thought they were older. Mm. Depending on a combination of their chronological age, the potency of their blood, and how many generations they are removed from well, shall we say Cain for the sake of discussion? For the sake of discussion. It's convenient. And their clans? Who exactly is in their ancestral tree? One would think that one of them would be feeling it, and perhaps they are. One it could think. explain Prince Vannevar's recent um, instability. The mm. cheese sliding off his cracker, yeah, maybe that's the... What an odd expression. Great. <laughs> you can have that one. Uh-huh. Now well, that would be interesting to know. Uh, Gary, did you receive the connection I made for you and Mr. Hesha? Most satisfactory. Glad I could help. And how are the wards? I must thank you again. They have come in very handy already. We have had some um, <clears throat> overcurious visitors of late. Oh? Hmm. Uh, kindred of the ivory tower, shall we say, testing the perimeters. There may be a truce on, but everyone is still preparing for when there isn't. Mm. They worked admirably. Good. That's good. We are very grateful. And um, the service we rendered to you in exchange it's also satisfactory? As long as it's true, yes. You wound me, Miss Eva. We are all kindred, after all. We are, visible and influences uh, being what, they're not, what they are. What Political dynamics mean? have their own geography, Miss Kyoko. Um, various webs of power and conflict. You must admit, it's an interesting existence. Politics. They had an agreement that has been fulfilled. <laughs> a favor for a favor. Mr. Golden, do you and your children have any specific concerns or needs now that there's been a shift in power? Hmm. Well, that remains to be seen. I mean, we're still uh, adjusting on our end as well, but we, of course, back, uh, Miss Griffith, 100%. I'm not surprised. Mr. Golden, of course I always love your company, and you are, of course, welcome here any time, however... Oh, that is very gratifying, Baron. I have known you tend to come in person when you have something you would like to discuss. Well, it is house night. It is. Tonight is the night for such things. Uh, House night is what the Baron has chosen to call it when he uh, opens the club to kindred who wishes attention and uh, wish to do business. 
this kind of It is very convenient. Ah, house knight, yes. Hmm. I came because it has reached my ears that our scourge was active in very recent nights, Miss Aurora. And you know how carefully I try to keep tabs on that one. Anytime that she makes an appearance, it is of great interest to me and it to my family in particular. Has come to our attention, yes. Mm, indeed. The scourge is investigating rumors that certain anarch instigators are operating in the city. And I thought it best to offer this information in exchange for a favor. Well, I mean, we're right here. She knows the anarch instigators that are at work in the city, or do you mean other new players on the board? Is this that person we're not supposed to know about? That is back. <laughs> uh. Perfect. So. Yeah, we got it, Gil. Oh, well, you know already. Well, not until. No, now. you just helped fill in a, a missing piece. But but thank you for thank you for bringing that to my attention. It is incredibly relevant to know. Oh, the fact that Carver is in the city is, to my mind, not relevant. He comes, he goes. He's been here many times since you saw him last. It's not like he pushes the doorbell and announces himself. After all, <laughs> that one travels where and when he will. The important thing is that Aurora is interested mm -hmm. in him. That is the salient fact. You know, it's... I was, what exactly are you trying to accomplish? I was experimenting with a keyword thing where if you just say Aurora, the lights go up 30%. I just, I don't think it's... Very clever. Yeah, but I, I'm, not, I'm not sure we're there. I'm not mm. sure we're there. Mm. Yeah. Um, well, uh... I don't know how well you know him. Full disclosure, I met him the night you did. Same. But. Douchebag, definitely a douchebag. Oh no, 100% a douchebag. Yeah. But I just, I guess for whatever reason, if Aurora wants him, it's in our best interest that she not get him. I mean, I realize he's playing his own game, but at least he's not playing theirs as far as we can tell. He'd probably gaslight her too. So, Mr. Golden, is it also in your interest not to have Carver hook up with the Camarilla? I have no strong feelings on the matter. Mr. Carver and I, we do business as infrequently as possible. Oh, smart. I have never known Mr. Carver to break his vows, as it were. I believe he is an associate of one of the most notorious boon dealers amongst our kind, a gangrel by the name of Beckett, with whom I still have a bone to pick. You know, I've heard about that guy. Is like he in LA? Oh, I, I sincerely hope not. It's, I just, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a, a fan of history. Like, I like to think of myself a historian, but considering there's so many kindred in this town that were there for history, I guess I, I'm <laughs> but a minor student, but I, I would really love to speak with him. You will recall, Miss Annabelle, that <laughs> not many months ago, I mentioned to you that I was concerned that um, you were not far enough away from the frame to see the bigger picture around you. I am pleased, very pleased to see that you have climbed to a position of perspective. <laughs> but I am curious to know what you see from your new vantage point. In particular? Or the broad strokes. It's as we've all said, the truce is temporary and we have to prepare, whether that means our hardware, our allies, or our information. We did discuss this when last we met, we talked about freedom being used as a bargaining chip. You said you had a favor in mind. I did. I, my intention was to come upon House Knight, as is the Baron's custom, 
uh, offer this interesting piece of information in exchange for a very minor favor. Well, as you said, we already possessed that information, and I believe I'm already up one with the Hesha thing, Mr. Golden. But, but since out of we're courtesy to our friends over at Hollywood Forever, what was that favor? I am unconcerned about being further in your debt, Baron. You two are a kindred of your word. Until you are not. Until you are not. So far, so good, right? What is the request? It is very small. Uh, Mitnick has his eye on some very, very expensive equipment that I think would benefit all of the Anarch faction were he to procure it. Uh, it is not within budget, and it is something that must be acquired, shall we say, through mundane avenues. It is not something that can be easily liberated in our usual manner. Can I ask you just one question, Mr. Golden? Because you're right, Metnik has been supremely helpful here. He and Yev have got this place like Fort Knox. Again, as far as I know, um, this stuff notwithstanding, but that's not really him, that's the, yeah. But uh, this isn't the sort of thing that is going to get different kinds of federal agents kicking our doors down. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, this item is not under any kind of interdict. What's he need? What's he need it for? What does he need? Hmm. Uh, I do not pretend to understand the um, internet as such. The tweetograms and the instabooks. Well, I'm aware of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the internet, of course. Right. Um, social media is known to us even in the tunnels. As, I, don't, don't, I know Abrams is out of town, but don't talk. But how us. one goes about building machines that connect the information superhighway to his various on and off ramps, I could not begin to guess, nor do I care to know. Is this something that I just need to write a check or is this something I need to handle personally? Uh, my understanding that there would be a wire transfer to a bank account and that would be transferred elsewhere and things would happen and a package would arrive. If it is just a money thing, consider it done. Most gracious and kind. Is this... A uh, tech thing that that he's he's trying to build. Is he trying to build a database of some sort? I really um, could not say. Oh. I've, I have the shopping list. I've made some requests of him. I would hope this is in continuity with those requests. And as long as we have assurances that it would be used for the right purposes and not fall into the wrong hands. I'm, I'm sure. I'm not certain whose hands you think that might be. Well, as you said, you had some of the ivory tower poking around, so. Ah, uh, yes, well, with the help of uh, defenses created by the resourceful Miss Eva and some of our own homemade um, <clears throat> deterrences, <laughs> all is well, all is well. I see that there are other um, Kindred, here to see you this evening. You're going to be have a busy night, Baron Temple. I was just uh, sharing with our guest here that I actually prefer the quiet talking business nights to the running and fire and lightning nights. And you, Miss Kyoko, what kind of nights do you prefer? <laughs> How have you found this existence? I like when I actually get to go out and do stuff. Out I'm the learning night. so much. Ah, an inquisitive mind will serve you well. I it's mentioned me those. trouble, I'd say, but it's pretty fun. Provided that you learn lessons from that trouble, I think you can call it a win. Yeah, def. Are you coming to understand that there are visible and invisible influences in our little society? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, it comes as a disappointment to you. Should I be excited about it? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps not. That is for the conscience of the individual kindred, I think. But it is reality. It I is... I am insatiably curious. Insatiably <laughs> curious? Oh, we will get along splendidly, famously. There is so much that uh, is available to learn. I'm not going anywhere. 
Oh. I, mean, I thought you were comes, saying... He, he goes, it's... Another Abrams um, is over in Hollywood. He's the one that's apparently heading out for a while. Oh. Indeed. I doubt you've met Isaac Abrams. Oh, you would remember. I have not. He leaves an impression. <laughs> he sure does. Now it's an outline. If yeah. there's any information you've ever sought, Gary Golden would be the one to get that from. Can you explain the gargoyle? Gargoyle? Uh, uh, we had an unfortunate run-in with uh, said creature the other evening. That is troublesome. Yeah. And uh, you are not missing any limbs. I've not managed to get out un relatively unscathed. The history of the gargoyles is most tragic. Gary, um, and I, I do very much start going through my phone. I say, you came to me to let me know something you thought was important, but valuable. And I think it's time for me to return the favor. I pull up the picture I took of the Nosferatu, because I did take one when we were in the labyrinth long ago. Mm. Does this face mean anything to you? Thanks for that, Victor. They have him. No, I know. May I inquire where this photograph was taken? That's neither here nor there, but this man is definitely in Camarilla custody. He may be ashes in Camarilla custody, but they have him. Before I answer the question, Baron, allow me the privilege of conferring with my cousin. Actually, I literally sort of like, um, I, I motion to an adjacent room even. I'm like, you. Cousin. Yes. Are you aware of the identity of the individual in the photograph? No. You are not. I am not. I am not entirely certain. If you will kindly share the photo with me. However you'd like to receive it. I will make myself certain. I have suspicions, but I hesitate to speak them aloud. I, I, we communicated via text before, so I, I text him the photo. I am under no certainty as to who that is. Mm. Yeah. Uh, nor am I yet. As I said, suspicions. He has been down there ever since I... Ah. He is a resident of this labyrinth. Yeah. I see. No, I don't really see, but I shall. Of course. Uh, the gargoyle, on the other hand... Is it, is it loose? Is it, is it roaming the city? Are it's we, are fairly we in danger? contained, mm -hmm. is it? as far as I know. We escaped it. You We're, escaped it? You fought it? Kyoko. Most impressive. From now on in this conversation, please don't say anything. Okay. Sorry. Hmm. Well, I appear to have almost outstayed my welcome, so <laughs> I think I'll be taking my leave. You clearly have much to discuss together, and you still have other kindred seeking your attention this evening who will no doubt be knocking at your door for many hours after I have left. Gary. I always have time for you, Mr. Gold. And the feeling is more than mutual, Baron Temple. I am curious to know who it is. I shall ascertain the identity post-haste. All my love to Amalia. Hmm. She will take that as a kindness. Kyoko, it has been nothing short of lovely to meet you. I hope we have more conversations soon. Yeah, maybe, I guess. I text Gary. I'm sure you know this, but Amalia knows Hesha too. Well, he does not pick up his phone to check the text message while he is standing in the room with you. Mr. Golden, it's oh. always a pleasure. Oh, Miss Annabelle, be careful out there. You know, in the time since we've seen each other, we've all been through a lot. And if anything, that broader perspective has strengthened my resolve. Everybody deserves their home here in Los Angeles. I could not agree with you more. And now we have Hollywood, and I know Nellie feels the same. I have no doubt she does in her own particular way. <laughs> in her very particular way. She, um, yeah, she's still her. Miss Eva. Mr. Golden. Good evening, one and all. Good evening. I, I will show myself out. Wait. Kyoko. You say you hear rumblings, right? Um, 
Mm -hmm. In a matter of speaking, yes. Someone named Westbrook? Westbrook. 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 A thin blood. Yes. Hmm. Yes, I do know the name. Ah, this is an individual you are interested to find. I am. Oh, if they are within Los Angeles, nothing could be simpler. Well, that is not strictly true, but for the sake of this conversation, nothing could be simpler. I shall make an inquiry, and then you and I shall have a discussion about what the information is worth to you. Thank you. Shouldn't be too many Someone nights. Someone I'm trying to reconnect with. Shouldn't be too many nights. Really, really a trivial inquiry. Okay. Nice to meet you. And you. Good evening, all. Always a pleasure, Mr. Golding. As soon as he leaves, I did not mention he was in the labyrinth. You did. I know. <laughs> he knows where I live. Did I just he knows what I have. He's wanted access to it for years. I just did. I just want the record it to show. Whether or not he knows he was down there could help finding out who it is. And also, I know what I said. And also, Ky Kyoko, I am very sorry for snapping at you. When we are in present company, you can say whatever you like. When we are in anybody who is not in this room, please do not just offer up secrets. I'm so sorry. I don't... I don't know how to play this game. Hey, it's uh, okay. Look, like, it's a lot of rules. To, you're used to being open about these things. I get it. But in this world, everybody trades in secrets and favors and politics, and you don't know sucks. who's listening, and you don't know who to trust. So it, it, sometimes I've learned the hard way. It's best to keep your secrets closer. Unless you can... At least 75% trust somebody. The reason why your sisters are the way they are is knowledge and favors are the two currency of our society. Yeah. Try not to give away either of those things for nothing. What do you do? Sorry, sir. Um, I hate to interrupt, but... Yeah. Um, you have got uh, a list tonight, and uh, I need to get some order of priority. So um, uh, at the moment, I think you're going to have to choose between um, Miss Lavender, who works for Nelly G, and um, <laughs> if I've got the name correct, uh, Miss Velvet Velour. This seems like a very appropriate place to take a pause in our vampire story. Hi, I'm Yev, and I'm Canon. Backblaze sponsored season four of LA by Night, and I would welcome you to go to backblaze.com slash LA by Night and give Backblaze a free try. We're an online backup service. We back up all the data that's on your computer. We store it safely and securely in the cloud, and you can get it back from us from anywhere in the globe. Go to backblaze.com slash LA by Night. Start your free trial today.
house night at Club Maharani. The crowd is smaller than when there is a big act or a hot DJ. But this is an exclusive crowd this evening because they think they're getting the hot new thing first. It's also the night when Baron Temple chooses to hold court. So here in North Hollywood, in the club, is where we return to our story. With Mr. Golden having just excused himself. Um, Campbell. Uh, Sir. Send Lavender in, but do not let Velvet leave. We definitely need to speak to her. Absolutely, sir. VIP section? Uh, yeah. Give whatever mm -hmm. she wants. Whoever she wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how are the people liking the music? Like, this really is, like, I'm telling you, this is going to be like... Oh, sir, you know I don't know anything about that. Five times platinum, though, Kim. I'm telling you. Know, you. I, I'm, I keep hoping that, uh, you know, I keep hoping that you'll one day decide to branch out into that uh, alt-country stuff that I like, but... Hmm. I mean, uh, you know what, Campbell? Just forget we talked about this. I mean, you know, I could, I could, I could introduce you to some truly cool uh, all country acts. You know what? All jokes aside, it is the most listened to music in America. Everyone denies it, but apparently they're secretly doing it. Let's. You know what? If we survive this, if we're alive in like six more months, we'll we'll start a country imprint. Maybe seven months. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Lavender, do not let Velvet leave. Interrupt me if you have to. Lavender first, sir. Yes, but right do away. Do not let Velvet leave. I'll be just a moment, sir. When Campbell leaves, I just say, I don't know if you remember, Velvet is Abram's child. I think she's probably Nellie's number one competition, so. Yeah, I feel like she feels like she has a claim to the throne. And I don't mean to be rude, but things might be about to get. Mm, yeah. Political. Got it. Deeply. Okay. Um. Is there anything you got to do tonight? Anything else you want to ask us? Because it's yeah, about to get probably, real. I probably don't need to be here right now. But I mean, my sisters are probably you can do me wondering a favor. where I am. It's a, it's a, can I, I will make a request as Baron of the Valley. So would you like to officially do a political thing? Mm, it depends on what it is. Maybe I don't really want to get involved. That was the correct answer for the record. Please talk to Hester and Violet Lona. Find out any and everything you can about gargoyles. Because if my friends are going to go back in there, I want to make sure my gun comes back out. Thanks. That's actually what I wanted to tell you guys. We're on the same page. All right, I will take my leave. Hey, hey, also, it's definitely okay to ask questions. You know, it's find out all you can. And if everybody's cool, They'll teach you. I've learned a lot from this bunch. If they're not cool, they'll kind of underestimate you. Yeah. Because you ask a lot of questions. Asking I'm going to que figure stuff out. Asking questions is fine. Just um, don't give things up for free. I got you. I'm working on that. Everyone's saying that. I just need to work on that. To tell you the truth, maybe don't mention the scourge to Hester and Aurora. They'll probably Hester pack up the shop. Violet. Oh, Hester and Violet, yes. Don't mention Aurora to Hester and Violet. They'll probably pack up the shop and move like tonight, which might not be a bad idea, but if you intend to stay, maybe don't mention that. I'm getting a lot. Of, I'm getting really bogged down with all the secrets. Don't worry. I'll yeah, no, it's, a little it's a lot. Update later. The good news is if you tell the wrong person the wrong thing, you'll just die instantly, so it's fine. Victor. Mm, uh, am yep. I wrong, though? That's probably true. I just don't know who to trust. Your sisters have your best interests. And they do. That. Them. You guys have been through a lot. But see Campbell. He'll set you up with whatever you need to eat. Like, we got whatever you want. Yep. All right. You, I'm gonna wait, head out. Are you cool? Like, I mean, this this is, I like this. This is a thing. This is a nice thing. Oh, oh, this is the, the blue? Yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> that's not by choice. Is actually. it not? I mean, it looks pretty dope, but it happened after I woke up from torpor. Tremere shit. Yeah. Could be worse. He could have done this to you. Is, was that an enchantment? Did that happen? 
I mean, it, yeah, it's a Ventru clan bang. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys around. Bye. Yeah. And thank you for not setting anything on fire. I'm sorry. Not this time. I was joking. I'm, jo- I'm joking. I'm not going to do it. No, it's, Maybe. Well, it's, I can't promise that. The night's not over. I get it. But thank, <laughs> thank you so far. Yes, please. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize for anything. Send the sisters my regards, please. Definitely. We'll chat sometime. Bye. Bye. Next week. I will. She seems nice. Mm. She's red, right? Yeah, no, I'm like concerned that that whole like she's physically marked by something Strauss did to her is probably should have been higher in the conversation, but because maybe it would have like not said some of the stuff I said in front of her, but cool, 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 cool. It's cool, not cool. really something. If the answer wasn't already known, it it's being worked on. Hey, was I like that? Yep. You still like that. Oh. Rad. <laughs> she's nice, but she's going to get in trouble if people don't help her. Her sisters have got her. And now she she's hanging with us. She keeps escaping her sisters. Yeah. Well, now she's hanging with us. I almost killed her by accident. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, that, that is all on brand, though. Well, you know, strange bedfellows and all that. Yeah, I guess. Like, what's this like old timey prospector thing? They did like what was her one to grow on. It's, it, with, well, lavender's coming again. I I figured I wanted to talk to her first because if she if Nellie sent her, we need to find out what she wanted to tell us and let her get back over there because she probably needs all the cover she can get. So okay. that was my logic. I don't care who I talk to. Uh, sir. Yeah. Uh, Miss Lavender will be a few minutes. Uh, she's um, <clears throat> she's in our security room checking on our monitors huh. sort of walked in and started uh Are you... playing with the system keep an eye on what she's playing with i mean she's a pro but bring her up here i mean let her finish her work just make sure you see what it is mm-hmm. absolutely i mean yeah. hey maybe she can fix that well there are, there are people with her all right as long as we got eyes okay yeah uh, I guess then maybe Velvet first, then, if Lavender's doing a thing. Well, I'll see how, how long she'll be, sir. And then I'll, 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 make, okay, I'll take care. A couple minutes. It's who, I'll take whoever. Care. Yeah, what's up? Mm, how are you otherwise? We haven't talked in a while. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. Like I haven't spoken to you since, like, the night I came back. Can we do one on... Grab a room and... Yeah, we can... You're good. We can have a can we, talk. Yeah, we have a couple minutes. Quick. Yeah, just catch up. Yeah, we'll just hang out. Yeah, sure. So you step out of the VIP booth and you make your way to on this floor. A room. Oh, there are several. Uh, there are several rooms that you can go to on this floor. Well, of course, there's um, there are the VIP boxes. There's Victor's panic room, which. May or may not be the best idea. Which there are, are the ones that are not the, monitored by the security guards. There are the passageways expressly for yeah, them. To yeah, I'll, I'll take her to one of the passageways. Yeah, we'll the passageways. There are two passageways exiting this private skybox, and you can choose either one of them. One goes to the office on the ground floor, and one goes to the um, secure day rooms on the lower level. I'll take the secure day room. Secure day rooms. We're going to talk so the passage. Yeah. You find yourself in a essentially a service access corridor hidden from the rest of the club. I think you may recall that there are um, camouflaged viewpoints at piercing the walls at various points as the tunnel makes its way down so that you can look out into various mm-hmm. parts of the club, but it is quite private. So, how's Mark? Thanks for asking. I mean, um, I haven't seen him since I, you know, you know, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, I guess it wasn't. You know, I, anyway. It all could have gone better. Yes. But hey, that's yeah, life yeah, with yeah. Jasper. But up, but up, but up. Um, yeah. He's good. He's 
training with nines. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Is he still cool? Yeah. He's he's not turned. Okay. Yet. We're talking, mm, talking about, about it. about it? Okay. Um, we keep up contact. I haven't told Victor yeah. Right. I didn't expect. I feel like if you had, there'd be a lot more holes in the wall. Yeah. Jasper and Annabelle, how far away from the VIP s- skybox have you moved? Uh, fairly far into Pretty the tunnels. Far. Like as far to try and stop. I don't want to be overheard. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Are you okay? Sorry, sir. Again, long as it works. When I call for it. You know, it's more complicated than we thought. You know, again, we we cry in training, so we laugh in battle, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm all right. I'm laying low for these last couple of months. Good. Uh, except for the gargoyle well, except for the thing. Except the gargoyle, but that was you know. You know, I go down there all the time, and it's fine. And then as soon as someone decides they have to come with me, things go bad. Uh, by someone that has to come with you, you mean? Well. Kyoko and Greg. Right. And everybody. I mean, Eva's been down there a bunch of times with me, and it's fine. But we haven't encountered anything. I don't know what's down there. I don't. I. I, I only know a portion of it. So I, I. Anyway, that's fine. Yeah, it's very precious to you. It is. Um. Yeah. What? I really want to tell you something, and I'm really kind of scared too. Um, okay. I met Chloe. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to be snooping or anything. It's just I, I was investigating another lead, and right. Oh, oh, oh. How? I haven't found her. I don't know. I, I lost track of her. She said you abandoned her. Did she? Is that true? Not from my perspective. Well, look, um, after, I mean, you were aware of her being Fiona's ghoul, right? (laughs) She talked about everything. Okay, so look, um, I mean, I didn't know about her or about the ghoul thing or Fiona or any of that until all the pieces kind of came together with her and it all came crashing down and I had this weight of this secret and I don't normally keep secrets from you, Jasper. I know, I know, I know. Um, I know you don't. Look. Chloe... Chloe got ghouled by Fiona. Um, found out. She, she... I made the mistake of letting her know I was alive accidentally because I do that. She uh, dug too deep, Fiona found her, uh, ghouled her, and then uh, when the Inquisition was yeah. snooping, she got taken. No, I know all of yeah. that, but what happened at Eva and I fixed Eva's her. place? Eva and I fixed her. She had a lot of questions. She wanted... Did you give her answers? She wanted us to turn her. I said no. Why? Because I'm the way I am. I look like this. I become. I didn't want her to become this. Eva said no because she won't do it. So, so what was she supposed so we to talked do? And we gave her a place to live in Griffith Park for the moment. We sat her down and we said, but ask us any questions you want to know. We'll talk about all of this. And then she said she needed some time to think. And so we, as I said, look, here's my phone number. You can call me as soon as you want to talk and I will come. And she never did. And then she left. To her, I may have abandoned her. I don't know, but I gave her every opportunity to answer any question she had. And she didn't take it. 
I assume she just didn't want to see me again. She still really cares about you. I... She felt abandoned, and I... I mean, I... I get it. I don't know what else I could have done other than turn her on the spot, but then she was going to come to understand some terrible things about how to... Also, I don't think I've ever properly understood that being turned when you're like me isn't just waking up as a vampire. You go through many days of pain and transformation. You, It takes a while. It doesn't just magically happen overnight. I want to say that it was that I disagree with you and that <laughs> look I wanted to talk I wanted to tell her things I wanted to speak to her about all of this stuff but she disappeared and I don't know where she went why did you even let her out of your sight why did because you because I was trying to be respectful and give her the space her. she needed but she needed you but she said she needed time alone so I tried to give it to her I was trying to do the right thing instead of following somebody around. I was trying to give them their space instead of looking in on them, spying on them, and keeping tabs on everybody. I was trying to. Yeah, but you did that up until it was time to actually take responsibility. For what? Take responsibility for what? That I didn't come out and tell her that I got turned into a monster? That I did the thing that every literally besides you, every vampire does, which is not explain to their loved ones what happens to them. You were li literally the only person I know that went to the, all their loved ones and went, by the way, I'm a vampire. What was I supposed to do? Show up looking 100% different than I looked the last time she saw me? And been like, by the way, my name's Jasper. You've known me for a long time. I look like this now, also I'm a vampire. I tried to do it the best way I knew how, which didn't work. Obviously, she felt abandoned and left. I don't know what to do with that. I can't make her stay. I can't make her figure it out. She desperately wants to be a vampire now. And I didn't want to do it, and neither did Eva. So I assume she's running around as a ghoul now. I don't know. She's with X. X is taking care of her. Oh, good. Great. Thanks for telling me, X. We were waiting till I could talk with you, and he's... <laughs> she's safe with him. Oh, I, I get that. I mean, if she's going to be with anybody, X is a fine person to be with, I guess. It's not... I, I'm worried about her because... She's smart, but she's so bold. I know. Which is why I didn't mean to tell her any of this. And I tried to get her to leave it alone. But she didn't. And she just apparently didn't like my answers. But to be fair, I can't actually blame her. So... I'm sorry. I am. Um, I think I'm scared that I abandoned somebody too. So it kind of hits the close playlist to home. person. I could tell though I, that would hit close to home. Look, I know. I don't know what exactly that relationship is. I know you do your thing, and that's fine. I'm not one to judge you for that. But I don't know, maybe talk to them. I Look, know, and I, and I'm, I'm trying, I just. You, we know we did the whole like, hey, stop talking to all of your loved ones because it puts them in danger, but obviously that hasn't happened, so you may as well just keep fucking talking to them. Because <laughs> I apparently haven't stopped either, so. Maybe figure out what she's doing. Okay. Because yeah. it's better to have answers than and be upset than to have no answers and be upset. So, thanks. Yeah, 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 come here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. 
Yeah, I know. I can't. No guarantees, right? Yeah. You know, everything's always bad all the time. That's another thing. Another I didn't thing? tell everybody about Carver because Aurora. I told Aurora that I'd trade her Carver for information about you. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah, I know. It's a lot of. Uh, she said she had something about you, and I was like, "Ha ha! What could you possibly have about Jasper that he hasn't told me? He tells me everything." I and don't know. I know. And then she said, "You know, she doesn't decide whether or not to tell the prince. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know." And she said she either she'd tell me what it is, and she'd either keep her mouth shut or not, depending on what I wanted if I gave her Carver. Okay. I mean, what to do with Carver is up to you as your sire. I don't care. Um, I, I'd be very impressed if you somehow managed to give her him to Aurora, but, you know, you do you. I have no idea other than information you already know about me that she could possibly give <sighs> to the prince. And even if it, anything else I can think of doesn't really seem to be that important. I mean, I figured it's got to be something that we know. I don't know. That's upsetting. Jasper, you are never surprised. Mm -hmm. You hear the footsteps in the security corridor before you see the flashlight. It's coming towards you. Uh, hey, um, sorry, Mr. Jasper, Miss Annabelle, it's it's me, Campbell. Hi, Campbell. What's hey, up? I've got uh, Miss Lavender here with me. Hi, Lavender. Lavender is uh, attired in a uh, dark leather jacket. You're not sure if it's dark blue or black. It's very sharp, very, uh, very sleek. She's got uh, her hair pulled back away from her face. She nods. Hey, uh, we're just doing a security check. I'm on my way to um, take Miss Lavender up to uh, Great. Mr. Temple. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, we'll we'll follow you up. We'll follow you with, yeah. Okay, okay. Right this way, Miss Lavender. You can lower that a little bit? That's sure. So, uh, sorry, sir. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I forget. I know they're bright, right? The yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, they're useful, though. Mm -hmm. so I just wanted to ever, since, uh, ever since, you know, the roof and we got yeah. these... They're great. That was a great idea, Miss Annabelle, to, to tactical flashlights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, we need all the help that we can. Yeah, so. sorry to interrupt. No, you're fine. No worries, Go, no worries. Please. See you up there. You know, there. we got private rooms and stuff. You don't have to. Uh, yeah, I like it here. <sighs> Fair enough, sir. Excuse us. I just wanted to give you the heads up. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate all of the information that you just gave me. I don't... Look, I... Things are, Eva's not doing doing well. We're trying to work on stuff, but she's really okay. messed up by th what happened with Strauss and Labyrinth and what Victor did is triggered some stuff for her. And like, I know, I, I'm sorry. Um, I, he really does mean well. I, and, I know, but, but I, I can't explain that. And I don't particularly believe it myself. No, it's I okay. Mean, you don't have to justify his bad behavior. I mean, just, like I just did, I guess. We're just, it's, We're having some minor disagreements. It's fine. It's just normal. It's regular within the confines of our crazy lives. But no, this it is, is a lot of stress on our relationship. It's fine. It's it's just she is very not in a good place right now. We're trying to figure out a way through it, but it's so, difficult. You know, I'm not really involved with a lot of your sorcery stuff because I don't do magic. But you know, if if you ever need muscle or even just somebody to talk to, I appreciate that, but, uh, and I will take you up on it should the need arise. And it may. There is a monster in my labyrinth now that I have to go deal with, so I may very well ask you to come and help me beat it up. Yeah, I'll go down into hell and right. beat up Satan for you, man. That sounds like an interesting evening. Anyway, we've got stuff to do. Let's yeah. go, sir, Miss Lavender. You should tell her I need 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Wait right here, miss. Right when they go, 
I look at Eva and I say, okay, so we've only got a couple of seconds here. So I'm going to put this um, as gently as I can. What the hell? What? No, you're doing this like Wicked Witch of the West Sith thing, which is cool, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic look, but you're like wearing red now and all like edgy and like you're all tense, like you want to sock me right now. Oh, like, well, I think you know why. It's more than that. It's more than that. I get you're trying to do the mysterious thing around everybody, but speaking as someone that has to maintain certain appearances. Victor, you see little sparks of electric energy begin to play around Eva's fingertips, shoulders, her hair. Um, I just don't appreciate when people mess with my head, Victor. And I, uh, said I wouldn't run anymore. The White Witch of Griffith Park, she's the one who ran. Ran from Stras. I'm not doing that anymore. Stay out of my head. The little electrical sparks seem to dissipate, calm and disappear. I have your back, I always have. Just remember which way to point the lightning, okay? As long as you remember your part of the deal. Campbell is. Yes, sir. Campbell opens the door. Lavender enters the VIP skybox. It's, do you have a, a new title now, Lavender? I, I don't know, how, do, how does that work? Is it you would? Lavender steps in front of you mm -hmm. as Campbell closes the door behind her. She bows her head respectfully. We make our way back. Baron Temple. Jasper and Annabelle, you are taking the security quarters back, mm -hmm. yeah. following the route that uh, Campbell and Lavender took. Okay. I believe you all met. You were there when the Hollywood sign thing. Miss Eva, it's yes. very good to see you again. I hope you're well. I'm fine. What has brought you back over the hill on this fine evening? Advance guard. Nellie's coming over later. Hmm. Who's covering her currently if you're here? As you probably know, Baron Abrams had a substantial security detail of his own. I mean, it's all right, I guess, yeah. Mm. That, of course, comes with the barony. I mean, it, what comes with the barony is what you make for yourself. But yes, I appreciate the double checking of security. Did, did it pass inspection? And I don't mean that facetiously. I'm actually interested if you found something. I think you know that your tactical situation here is as good as you can make it without shutting down the entire club. But as a former military officer who was involved in security procedures. Yes, in my opinion, your defenses are adequate. Adequate, I'll take adequate. I think the mirrors at the front entrance, why has that been happening since I got here? We're working on a contingency for the, 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 the mirrors are level one. The, the light thing is like level 15. It's mm -hmm. just, we're not, we're not quite, we're not quite there. A new security procedure. It's called daylight protocol. What does that mean? Yeah, you'll find out. To I'd see. rather know, but <laughs> maybe you'll tell, maybe you'll tell Miss Nelly. Problem is, um, once things get out, then they're out, you know? I can appreciate that. As I was saying, your tactical situation is adequate, acceptable. As good as you can make it without actually turning this into Fort Knox. I will accept adequate. I, I, I will. Um, the mirrors, as I was saying, that's a nice touch. So yeah. you've put two huge mirrors on 
either wall just inside the main doors. Everybody who comes through stops to take a selfie. Get a little bit of traffic there. Actually, let me, let me point something out to you, and you might know this. I motion out towards the dance floor. We're along the bar, both behind the bars. There's intermittent. Long, beautiful black bars with millions of bottles of alcohol on either side, brightly lit like a kaleidoscope mm -hmm. glass. Yeah. In evenly placed mirrored reflective surfaces, both on the bar itself and on the wall. So that just intermittently, you can always kind of catch reflections of things and people as they move by, just to give the security guards on the floor a chance to also notice if, wait a second, that guy didn't have a reflection. Do they know what to look for? Not reflections. <laughs> Especially after the last time uh, our visitors were here. But the, it's subtle. The wall, the mirrors by the door are huge. You cannot miss them. What's the procedure if they see something that might indicate an intruder? Call it in. And then what? Then other stuff happens. Hmm. I see. Very good, sir. Eventually. I hope this protocol does what you, what you hope. You know, we're working out the kinks now so that when it's time, it's time. It's going to work. It's, it will work. Trust me, it will work. Yes. You know what I'm concerned about most, those shadow monsters. It is at this point that Jasper and Annabelle return to the VIP Skybox, shown in by Campbell. Thank you, Campbell. Sorry about the flashlight thing, sir. That's fine. Uh, Lavender. Hey again. What brings you here tonight? Security for Miss Nellie. Ah. She's coming over later and sent me ahead to check. How's she doing? It's a lot, I think. You know, I didn't trust that we'd have security here. It was my idea, sir. Mm. I'm only partially offended, but I'd rather she be too careful than not careful right, enough. Yeah, it's my job good. to protect her. Rightly so. The last time we were here, you have to admit, things didn't go very well, sir. They seem to have turned out all right. I think they ended fine, sure. <laughs> Although, if you want my professional opinion, speaking as someone who's, you know... A security of, expert, sir? Who had someone trying to kill him nightly for a little Two while aren't now. really the same thing, but as you say, it's your club. The place they'd hit her is in the car on the way here, coming or going. Yes. We have a procedure for that as well. Mm. Baron Ab Abram's team is um, remarkably well-trained. I'm told that they uh, helped you take a prisoner last year. I can neither confirm nor deny what, what might have happened there, but uh, yeah, he's got some solid some solid people on the payroll. Lots of connections with the police, you might recall, too, at the, at the sign, the SWAT. Those guys came in very handy. Yes, we have access to tactical support. Hmm. You don't think that we'll need it in particular tonight? This is just sort of a routine check, right? I really couldn't say. My job is to make sure that things are secure and that Miss Nellie gets to where she's going safely and back safely. Thankful for that. Whether or not I'll even be needed, how will I know? I have to assume I will be at all times. Safe assumption. <laughs> Safe assumption. It's been um, quiet these last few nights, which I think we just have to enjoy while we can. It's Man. been quiet these last few nights. We heard you. Yeah. From your I don't understand, but sir, it, it's none of my business. May I ask you a personal question, Baron Temple? I have no right to ask. I'm not, I'm not one of you. Oh, no, please, by all means. Thank you, Annabelle. Are you ready to protect Miss Nelly if you have to? Uh, Lavender. Yeah. Regardless of Nellie's and I's personal feelings towards each other, I feel like I've been doing that a lot longer than you have. I'm aware. Dear Things I have see. changed now. She's a baron. <laughs> she has not changed at all in my perspective. What do you mean by that? 
Hold protector. On. I mean, you know, obviously, as Jasper said, we are all in this together. I think We've Baron been... Temple knows what I mean. What does she mean, Baron Temple? Baron Nellie Griffith has my full and total support. Thank you. I find it rather odd that these questions would be coming from Nellie. Are they coming from you specifically? She didn't tell me to ask that. Okay. You're being thorough, I understand. It's in my boss's best interest if I am. Just remember, like Jasper said, we've been doing this long enough that we were protecting her from you. In fact, I seem to recall you uh, being on the receiving end of that one. Uh, yeah, I know, it's sorry. lifetimes ago. That's lifetime true, ago. it's true. So I think our commitment is uh, well established. Forgive me, Baron Temple, but my experience has been that all those commitments are built on shifting sands when political fortunes change. No, I get it. Yeah, you're, yes. you're not wrong now. It's I'm, true. I'm not implying that you would ever do anything to hurt my boss, but you, I did have to ask. You were completely within your rights to ask. I'm glad you feel that way. Uh, how long is she supposed to get here? I'm not exactly certain. There's a lot to do, a lot to get ready for. Speaking of protecting her, there's probably one other thing I need to handle here. So unless there's something else we need to discuss, I probably need to take at least one more meeting. No, sir, I think I've taken enough of your valuable time. Would you mind if, uh, would you mind if I took a look on the roof before I go? Did you bring your rifle? It's not on me, sir. Campbell, make sure she has access to a rifle. <laughs> From the other side of the door, Campbell's voice. Yes, sir. Good luck, Lavender. Hope you don't need it. She lets herself out. She and Campbell are in whispered conversation as the door closes. Show her how it's done, Campbell. What the biggest caliber you've got, Campbell. Really big. Mm -hmm. Huge. Ain't yeah. tank. Okay. One last thing. Um, Remember, uh, I do not know Velvet well. I never did. But neither do I. She is highly ambitious, and the fact that Dad overlooked her cannot sit well with her. Nope. Well, we find out what she wants, and we make sure that she's gonna bend the knee. Who are you gonna bend it for? I would never. Do yeah, okay, just making sure. Go out on a limb, saying she'll be gone. Before we have a chance to touch her. Well, that's, well, you know, she is, no, I, I don't intend to want to lay hands on her. It's just, um, you see how things went with Fiona, and I'd rather not a repeat of that. I let Campbell know I realize he's helping her, but when, as soon as he can respond, that I'm, I'm ready to see Velvet. I find it interesting that Maybe uh, Lavender was just asking those questions of her own accord, but I wonder if Nellie really does think we don't have her back. Well, here's the thing. I can say with some authority, things change a lot once you become Baron. She's right to ask. I just feel like she would ask us ourselves. She still might. Night's not over. Yeah. Jasper. Yeah? Can I talk to you for a moment? Of course, yeah. Um. Yeah, Annabelle, I, I want to show you something. I, I got a new portrait of me, actually. It's a, it's, it's, no, it's a Francis Byrne original. It's incredible. No, no, come with, no. He is incredible. Oh, I cannot wait no, no, to and see it, I'm, I'm, this. I'm getting one made of you. Stop it or I'll make it a baby bee one. No, you're, you're beautiful. No, let's just. The lights on the painting may not be right, but that's okay. Let's go. First of all, you know you. I didn't make you train this baby bee last night. Fine. Right, and I do. Let's go with her. So Victor and Annabelle use a different exit. I stay around the VIP because I don't want Lavender to think I've left. It's very important to me that I speak. So you want to keep it within 
Certainly eyeball distance. Yes. Okay. Keep an eye on her, but I really am trying to give them space. Stepping out of the skybox and onto the balcony level gives you a view of the VIP area with its comfortable leather couches and its semi-private conversational areas. It also gives you a great view of the dance floor down below. It's not hard to pick out Velvet Velour. As long as I can see her, and she's not trying to head towards the door. I don't I don't rush it. She seems to be having a good time on the dance floor with a remarkably well-dressed individual with a head of uh, very thick, dark hair slicked back from his forehead. Anyone I recognize? You can't place him off the top of your head. He's a bit pale, though. <sighs> That's future Victor's problem. Mm -hmm. So that leaves Jasper and Eva <laughs> alone in the skybox. What's up? I just, I'm sorry for what happened in the labyrinth. I just, I don't want any tension between us. Look, I understand, but I know that when it comes to Strauss, things are difficult for you. And I know, at least I think I understand what he did to you, but I understand that 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 you don't want to run anymore, and I get that. But, um, and I know that I said I would stop throwing myself at things, and, and I'm trying, but that was I didn't throw myself at it. I wanted, I was trying to get away. It was the best I could do to get the three of you out ahead of me before. I can't, when we're down there, I have to take responsibility for everybody who's down there, including you, because I know you've been down there a lot, but you don't know it like I do. And everybody down there is under my protection when I bring them down there. So it is my responsibility to protect the people who are down there. You wouldn't, if the roles are reversed, I don't think you would have let me go either. I know I wouldn't. I'm not mad at you for that. Or I'm not really mad at you at all. I just, I've been trying very hard to, I'm gonna kill Victor. I've been trying very hard to keep where we are a secret. Yeah. And I didn't want to, something that's connected straight to Strauss, I didn't want to lead it back to my house. I've, you know, I'm sure he already knows where I live. I don't, there's nothing I assume he doesn't know, but I guess I just kind of hoped he didn't know. What if I'm connected to Strauss? There's nothing I can do about that now, is there? I guess, I guess not. Like I, I'm just, I understand why you did what you did, and it's fine. Just don't get so focused on hurting and killing Strauss that you forget that you need to live through it. Right. Because if you don't live through it, it doesn't matter. At least not to me. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. I knew it was Victor, too. I fucking knew it. I knew it was him. Sorry, we'll... We'll figure it out. We'll talk about it later. You're the only person I truly trust right now, so... No. I just want things to be okay. Things are okay. Right. Victor, you can stop looking at yourself now. It's actually, when when Annabelle and I are out there for a second, I just say, um, "You went and talked to Delilah on on as a as as an official emissary, huh?" Of the valley, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Of course, we need every hand that we have in this war. And I'm telling you, Victor. 
the thin bloods, there's, there's, it's huge. It's something big. I mean, some of them, they can, some of them can go out in the sun. You know, she said that to me when we met, and I'm like, yeah, so can my ghouls, like, whatever. But no, I, I get it. It's, but they I'm, still have their superpowers. They have alchemy. They, I, I mean, I, I really, don't, I'll never understand why they're not sort of full voting members of the council. You know, that, uh, that whole OK Boomer thing. You know how like you you're you're millennial, right? Like honestly, I am. Yeah, and you know how like people of my generation were like, "You guys are too sensitive," and you're like, "You guys ruined the whole planet." You know that? It's true. But it is true. But take that and make it like five hundred years to you now, and also you're prophesied to destroy them all. The prophecy. Uh... It, I just, I didn't say it made sense. Yeah, I just, okay. I just am giving you the context right. for why they're getting the reaction they're getting. It's, I mean, I, I was wrong about it too. I didn't hate them, but I underestimated them. I think that's a mistake that the Camarilla are going to make. Well, hopefully it works out to our advantage and they don't just burn us all too, huh? You know, they got to be the masters of their own destiny. Yeah, personally, I look forward to uh, us gathering back here a couple centuries from now with, you know, Space Club Maharani and thinking back to when we're like, <laughs> ah, remember when, yeah. yeah, back before the anti-gravity units were put in, when we... Um, back before equity in the world, yeah. Just, yeah, and then, you know, and then I, I'm glad I invested in Bitcoin early. Um, <laughs> one last question, though. Yeah. Before we have to handle another complication, is uh, is Mark okay? He is. Have we talked to him lately? Yeah, we we've swapped some texts. You know, it's uh, he's good. I'm only gonna ask one thing, and I only need you to promise me one thing. If he becomes not good, you will tell me. I absolutely will tell you. Whose money do you think I'm going to need for the rescue mission? You know, everybody's like, Ugh, Venture was so terrible, but please bail me out financially. Oh, no, your powers are so terrible. Oh, stop the werewolf from eating us. Yeah, I know. That's fine. It's cool. That's all right. I'm used to it. Also, now, but thanks, because now we're having this moment, your painting is going to be so much nicer. So much nicer. This is gauche. It's weird. No, it's, it's a it's, frame. Okay, Who no, does no, it? no, but look at like LA in the background. It's like, it's beautiful. It is art. It's, like, Mwah. it's beautiful. But, but why is it hanging in your club? I don't know. No, but hey, it, but because the people hey, need to Jasper, remember. It's weird, right? It's, well, it's weird. It's, no, it's a great painting. Get Car Campbell. It's yes, Velvet. See? It's a painting of me and my dad, sir. and it's like, but it's beautiful. Look at it. It's it. It is. It is fine. I am sure that you believe it is. First of all, I was going to commission them for all of you, and now I still you am. You really want and, a painting of me? This, you are beautiful. I don't know how many times I have to tell you before you will believe me. And she's got this Sith no. thing going that is Victor, like fantastic Victor, now. Victor, you lie a lot. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying you do. And First of all, do not kink shame me. Second of all, you are beautiful. I don't care what anyone says. She what? agrees with me. Is this conversation taking place next to the painting out in the, uh, in the VIP area of the club? Yeah. Yes. Yes. From here, you can see Campbell ascending the long stairway that leads up, the one you had built specifically so people could make grand entrances and exits uh, from an elevated position. I, I understand what the what appeals to this community is. Mm -hmm. And uh, heads turn as Velvet Velour and the gentleman on her arm, whom Annabelle has seen before from a clandestine view. Without breaking eye contact on them, I'm like, anybody know the dark haired guy? Uh, His name is Edison. He is a Toreador who spoke to Archangel about a deal. Oh, I have no idea. Before. I've seen him before. You've seen him before? Yeah. I apologize because I'm trying to keep track of this myself, but when Amalia asked for Edison to be delivered, I wa Victor was there for that. So I've heard his name, but I have not seen his face. That's right. Okay. 
I apologize. I'm trying to keep track. He seems of to be life. very much intact. Hmm. He's not. He's not injured or dead. So whatever yeah. passed between him and Amalia must not have been lethal. I heard him say his name, though, or I heard him being addressed when. Okay. Uh, that is that is Edison. That is Edison. What? Edison. Uh, Edison. Like uh, Amalia Edison. Yeah, Amalia asked for that guy. That that was a whole boon was to have him taken to her. And at last I heard it, she was done. So, all right, okay, all right. Showtime. Maybe it went well for everybody. I guess so. Oh Show. God. Mm. Velvet Velour is. There is no other way to state it. She is empirically beautiful. She has alabaster skin, brilliant crimson red hair, not unlike the shade of Eva's dress. Her makeup is expert. She wears a silver metallic mesh club dress, killer heels, very tasteful jewelry. The gentleman on her arm, as I said, has very good thick hair, slicked back from his forehead. And he wears, um, Attire that is faintly reminiscent of the 40s, perhaps, even though it is of modern manufacture. It gives that retro faux vintage air. I actually open the door back to the room we were in before. And I'm like, please join us. I whispered to Jasper, he bought information from Chloe. Well, oh, God. Velvet gives you a dazzling smile. She leans in, kisses you on the cheek, placing her hands against your chest. Always a pleasure, Velvet. And I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. Victor Temple, Baron of the Valley. This is my date, Edison. I do extend my hand to the man. He takes it, shakes it. Edison, be a dear and wait. I have some. Do I gauge anything from his handshake? Is it firm? Is it wet fish? Is it or just a handshake? Uh, it's you can firm, tell a lot about a man from his handshake. Firm, dry handshake. Okay. <laughs> right. Good evening, Baron. Thanks for uh, letting us enjoy your club. It's any great time. place. Great place. Yeah, it's. I, I understand Velvet is also going into the business. Are you not? Absolutely. I'm glad you mentioned that. Maybe. Um. Well, we'll talk. Let us, and I do. <sighs> I'm like, is Edison joining us? Is he waiting? Are we? No, he's waiting. He's like, he's waiting. He's waiting. I'm waiting. I grab just the nearest uh, person on the um, uh, barkeep or mm -hmm. uh, server, and I'm like, make sure he has anything he wants. Absolutely. Anything. Absolutely, he wants. Mr. Temple. And then, well, Your employee ushers Mr. Edison into the VIP area where his needs and tastes will be served. I do close the door behind us. So now you're back in the VIP room. I did wonder what it was like in here the last time I visited. It is demonstrably improved now that you are here. That's very kind of you to say. I was warned that you had a silver tongue. It's easy when it's true. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Oh. Uh, I'm Annabelle. It's lovely to meet you. You're Annabelle. It is lovely to meet your acquaintance. I have heard so much. Good things, I hope? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, mm. I hope you haven't been misinformed terribly. We shall see, right? <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. I said some very complimentary things. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Hmm. Oh, Jasper. I'm Velvet. Nice to meet you, Velvet. Nice to meet you too, Jasper. Hello. Hello, Velvet. Don't I'm Eva. I've heard so much about you too. So very much. Yes, Abrams and I have known each other a while now. He's talked about you from time to time. Velvet, without being asked, makes herself comfortable in one of the soft leather chairs in the VIP room. She doesn't so much sit as she sort of drapes herself into it. 
very comfortable, very much at ease. So Ms. Valor, what can the Baron do for you? Well, I heard it's house night. Mm-hmm. It is, you've come at the right time. Although of course, always welcome, but definitely tonight is the night for business. Now, the last time I was here, there was some excitement. <laughs> There's always excitement at the club. Well, let's hope not tonight. At least let's not that kind of excitement. Hope not that kind of excitement. It was let's a hope, little overwhelming. Honestly, let's hope never again that kind of excitement. But yes, here we are still standing. She points through one of the mirrored windows at where Edison is seated comfortably in one of the semi-private areas of the VIP section. He's just lounging, taking it all in, enjoying himself as far as you can tell. Mm -hmm. Now my friend is with the tower. Mm. Now, I apologize for not asking permission, but I didn't think it would break the truce if I- Mm. Tonight is the night. Brought a fellow rose. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's so kind of you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Is he, what was it, um, not stargazers, it was star, I was told to keep my eyes out for some roses of a certain bouquet. Oh, I think you mean the Stardusters. That. Yes. Would he by chance? Oh, he probably is. He probably is. Mm. That's a coterie. Mm. Like you're... This, yeah. But not really, like... I mean, who Nobody's is? quite like us. Right, no, I think we're quite... We don't have a That's what Isaac says. Right. <laughs> yes, I'll bet he does. We're just one big happy family. Uh, the minute she doesn't look at me, I'm gone. Oh, <laughs> not being seen. I see. Useful trick. Browse I'm check. hungry. <laughs> of course, I fucking am. <laughs> I'm like Victor does the distraction dance. Did you? Uh, did you pass her? No, I failed. No, you so failed. I had three hunger. You know, you can just get rid of this problem right now, ripping her head off and drinking her dry. I'm just saying. I, I don't necessarily disagree with you. Just but saying. I think everybody would react very poorly if I did that, don't you? Nah, they wouldn't care. I think you're lying. Look, just do us both a favor and get rid of her now. We'll see. Spoil sport. And, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay in the room for now, but I'm gonna keep, walk closer to the window with which her friend is sitting and keep an eye on him. Keep an eye on Edison. So you've brought a Camarilla into an Anarch club as for- Can't be the first time. Well, Well, no, but it, it seems you've made a great point and a great show of being here with him and bringing him and having him sitting there where we can all see him. To her point, he must be something special because you had a positively a harem of admirers last time, but you are quite right. This is our neutral territory for the sake of diplomacy. Has he come to? Oh no, he really is here as my date. He expressed an interest in seeing your establishment. Mm. It wasn't possible before. Mm. Peace reigned. Long may it. But it is diplomacy that uh, led me to invite him. I want to demonstrate that it is possible to maintain that detente in public, socially, and not just um, glaring at each other and gritting our fangs across the table as we begrudgingly throw each other semi meant compliments. Is that your goal, Velvet? Diplomacy? Closer relationships with the ivory tower. She glances through the window at Edison. Mm. Well, I've heard that uh, wartime makes for strange bedfellows. And is that your Baron's wish? My Baron, as I'm certain that you know, is now Nellie Griffin. I'm glad oh, you Oh, we know. know that, yes. I found it an unusual choice, I must admit. A bit unexpected. I... The woman's a natural leader. 
She has always been very, very <laughs> close with Abrams. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I'm, oh, as you say, absolutely. I know. I'm very funny. Go ahead. No, I, I, I understand, um, Velvet. Uh, I, I think it would be reasonable to assume that you probably thought if you weren't first in line of succession, you must have been very near the top. Did, by chance, Abrams discuss these matters with you, or did you find out of around the time the rest of us did? Her face goes through a very visible display of discomfort and concern. You struck a nerve. I meant to. I'm sorry if that caused you any turmoil. I know that you and your sire were very close. It can be very difficult when your sire is not everything that you expect them to be. Oh, it's so true, Annabelle. So Not true. You have no idea, darling. You have no idea at all. The trials I have seen, the indignities that I have endured on behalf of Isaac. One scrape after another. I'm sorry. And then now that... I actually think you are. I am. Hmm. She is. She is. Now that things have shuffled around again, um, where did, um... He's more comfortable. Oh, yes, of course. You they, know. They do that. Uh, right behind her. <laughs> and she just hears, oh, I'm still here. She jumps visibly in her, starts in her chair. Ah, hmm. Hmm. How, um... He's just more comfortable in this uh -huh. without, aspect. How entertaining. Without taking my eyes off of Velvet, I say, hmm, you can probably see him anyway. It's fine. Hmm. Really, not one of my specialties. Hmm. What are you hoping for now? Well, actually, I came to invite Baron Temple to a private salon that I'm throwing mm -hmm. in my club in the not too distant future. Is it time for the grand opening? You might recall I said I would help in any way that I could. I do remember your very generous offer and it was so kind and so gracious of you. I would never forget such a thing. Mm. But um, so far, I think it's fair to say I've managed very comfortably on my own. You are an intelligent and resourceful Toreador. Yes, I am. So you'll receive a more formal invitation, of course, in the best Toreador tradition, but mm. I wanted to first express a more personal and intimate invitation myself. I appreciate you taking the time to come in person, especially during these tumultuous nights. And yes, if I am not otherwise occupied that evening, I would love to make an appearance. I will count that as an RSVP in the resoundingly affirmative. Have you extended a similar invitation to Baron Nelly Griffith? Uh, not yet. Mm. It's on the to-do list. The night is young. Nice oh, young. is Nellie on her way here? Uh, Hollywood no. is just over the hill. You know how quickly it is to back here and there. I had a club over there once. I don't know if you recall. It's. I recall. Not a long drive. <laughs> I recall, Baron. I recall many things. Uh, I mean, not, not to be insulting to, you know, your planning skills because. Oh, I'm sure you couldn't be insulting. Are. But are, are you sufficiently prepared for any... For what? Well, parties lately have been rowdy. They have gotten rowdy. What? Kindred parties have been very, very rowdy lately. You know, ever since I got here, that's been happening. Oh, and it's just Is that part of the light show? I, I admit, I don't understand the style of music that you prefer here. I, it's experimental. Like, we try to be... Something a little you know, more like, top like, 40 like Fashion is forward, fashion forward. We try to be, like, performance forward. Hmm. I like to workshop new things on Tuesdays. House night. House night. Um, well, I love a good rowdy. But... Your point is well taken. I like to think I'm sufficiently prepared and that my investors have given me the means 
that I'll need to make sure that the lid is kept on any unforeseen problems. You, Why don't you come along and find out for yourself? You could come with Baron Temple. Yeah, I'd love that. We do we do we all get to come? We all can come, right? Really? Oh, well, how? Hmm. It's all right. I don't want to come anyway. Yes, you do. Well, it's if I could offer you one piece of professional advice from the club business, Baron. Always assume there's three or four Nosferatu in every room. That has sound advice, and uh, of course, more true often than not. There is one other. Uh, no, no please. by all means. No, I would not Stay interrupt the lady. No. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. I wouldn't dream of it. You may be no, about no, to no, ask me what I was you. about to ask you. Wow, they're doing Rochambeau that. for it. I feel like I would be at a marked disadvantage in a Rochambeau contest. Please, guests first. I think you're right. While they're doing that. Oh, I you are sweet. Keeping a very watchful eye on him. I want to. Speaking of clubs, mm. club ownership seems to be all the rage these nights among our kind. Mm. Everyone seems to have one. Yeah, Jeanette's new thing is over in Hollywood too, right? Funny you should mention that. It's yes, a, it is. Keep an ear to the streets, Velvet, mm. I do. And as I understand it, it's been suffering some, shall we say, permitting problems, labor issues. Mm. It, um, things aren't going so well, not as well as Jeanette had hoped. That's unfortunate. I guess Isaac was um, distracted in these last few weeks. Oh, hmm? Poor Isaac. I do hope he's going to be all right. Well, uh, who knows what's going to happen wherever he's going. A nice long vacation. The rest cure. I think that's was his generation called it, didn't they? I hope he'll be back soon. We just have to make sure that everything is intact and everything in its proper place when he does. Well, speaking of... <clears throat> Jeanette's club. As you know, she had made some arrangements with Isaac for support. Mm -hmm. I presume that she will now expect Baron Nelly to fulfill those promises, since the Baron will inherit both the benefits and the detriments of the position. Speaking as someone who now has a domain that once was overseen by Isaac, I can verify that that is an accurate statement. Hmm. I cannot speak for how Nelly will run her domain, but I will pass along the fact that uh, Jeanette would be looking for her support. I would like to ask you a question about that. Can you picture it? An integrated club empire linking businesses across multiple venues in the city, sharing all kinds of benefits. You know, Jeanette may be very open to such an arrangement. From what I understand, her sister Therese has done something similar, both in LA and nationwide, I'm led to believe. You know, Therese and I have never really seen eye to eye. I don't know that Therese sees eye to eye with anyone. Mm. But Jeanette, I don't understand at all. I don't know that anyone understands Jeanette. I get Jeanette. You probably think you do. <laughs> you've, um, you've talked to her. Yeah, I know Jeanette. What did you think? She's pretty cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, cool. Mm. You don't mean crazy, do you? No, I would never use that word to describe Jeanette. Oh, well, I would. I mean, you know, right? It's, it's, it'd be rude. They don't like the C word. Mm. Different. Why? Well, yeah. Murderous. Volatile. She is, she dances to the beat of her own drum. That is the kindest way I've ever heard it put. Do you know the difference between someone who is crazy and someone who's eccentric? I'm not sure I do. Money. Well. It's money. Uh, Eccentric yeah. people have money. Well. Also, <laughs> I'm not, not, not a huge fan of the C word. Maybe you're right. Maybe maybe I spoke in haste. Is, is there some sort of conflict between the two of you? Just that she's got a club in Hollywood. Well, there's 
plenty of space for everyone here. But if I could bring Jeanette to the table along with some other club owners who had a mind to form an entertainment consortium, I would that would, be a conversation you might be interested in having, Barry? I would absolutely entertain such a meeting. And if some of those investors were stardusters, what then? You trust them? Oh, I, I would never go that far. That's, that's true. Darling, never that far. Trust is a luxury most of us cannot afford. Well, I mean, insofar as you would trust a business investment with them? Perhaps. Depends on who they are and what they can offer. And in, what safeguards we can impose. In the interest of diplomacy, I would entertain such a meeting. And I cannot make any greater commitments beyond that. You've made me such a happy Toreador. Such a happy Toreador. Now, if I could just ask you something. Who? What, what are you... The, there for luck. Hmm. It's very becoming. A little colorful accent. You know, it's blue and red. You know, it's this brand. You see, like, the, the security people, they got the blue in the, in the... It's divine. I love it. So it's got to stay on brand. That's another piece of advice, club owner to club owner. Always stay on brand. I, again, I really have, I like to speak freely amongst my associates, friends. So let's put uh, our cards on the table if we're going to do business here, Velvet. That could be so entertaining. It can, it can, it can, it can, it can. Uh, diplomacy is a dangerous web and I am quite, quite clear on what you wanted from Isaac and how little of it manifested and chaos is in fact a ladder and it is a chaotic time. So I just need to know that um, I won't say something so gauche and jejour is saying that you're looking out for our best interests because I know you are looking out for your best interests but that your best interests are not directly contradictory to our best interests. Well, they're not not your interests. <laughs> Stop, flattery will get you everywhere, Velvet. But it's true. The reason why I know of these Stardusters is because I know of some very, shall we say, aggressive business moves. Far be it from me to look down on such things. Business is business, but I would hate it if in the midst of our um, maneuvering during this time of reigning peace that we didn't accidentally trip over something flammable. That's a roundabout way of saying be careful, isn't it? It's a roundabout way of saying don't try and fuck me, Velvet. In business. Hope springs eternal, Baron. Velvet. Obviously, Baron Temple and the rest of us are very concerned for... We are, we are very eager to know that Baron Nellie Griffith is shown the respect that she deserves. And I understand with the disappointments, you might not be as eager to recognize her but let me assure you, it is in your best interest to do so. And that's not a threat. I believe you when you say it's not a threat. Well, I've clearly taken enough of your valuable time. I must slightly impose upon you. You'd like me to stay? I can I, have Edison leave. It's I no would actually like a word with Edison. You'd like to speak to Edison? I would. You're, of course, welcome to remain. I think you're going to be terribly bored. You will find, uh, I believe, boredom is a lack of presence. Well, in the interest of diplomacy, why don't I excuse myself, enjoy a little bit more of your fabulous hospitality, and send my date in? And I look to forward... To show that I trust you implicitly. I look forward to being there for the... Grand Salon. I do look forward to entertaining you there and 
All of you. I'll make sure to tell uh, Baron Nelly that you came to speak to me as a club owner, not as a alternative to her. What a strange and bizarre idea. Mm, I'm sure that was not at any point what you were thinking. Nothing could be further from my mind, Baron Temple. Always a pleasure, Velvet. Good evening. Bye, Velvet. Velvet, mm -hmm. you're as beautiful as Abram said you are. So are you. Well, good night. Good night. She in, excuses herself. In the moment between when she leaves, but before Edison comes in, I'm like, those tracking beads, can you put one of those on this? No. It, why? Just in case you get snatched and we gotta go took, tooking him. There's, I mean, we've had to go get what? him what? at least once. We've had to go, no, she's right. I'm with her on this. Like, no, he's <laughs> coming soon. No, I mean, your English is slipping. No, but it's, it's, a, it's but a, I'm it's with it though. About, have you seen Taken? No, I, I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with you. It's, it's um, instead of weird. This, Yes. Right now? I, no, I mean, not at this exact second, but I mean, just in general. Like, I'm, 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 op I'm open to uh, renovations. I mean, imagine how much easier our life would have been if he'd had something on him. Yes. Hey, Mr. Edison, sir. Absolutely. Please come in. Door opens. The I activate all. Well dressed gentleman steps in. Door closes behind him. Of course, you exude an aura of unmistakably distinguished charm. And appeal. Is that a presence ability? It is. Mm -hmm. It is a presence ability. Um, it is. Um, it is directed only when the user uh, makes an action that requires a roll mm -hmm. against a specific individual. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it has a passive effect. It feels warm. It doesn't. Pavis doesn't do anything with that. Uh, no, it wouldn't trigger. It wouldn't trigger that. It'll just make me love me and pour it. <laughs> it would trigger. It would trigger the defense if Baron Temple then tried to uh, use some sort of persuasion or charm on you that called upon the benefits of awe to improve it. Great. Not my first rodeo with the newly renovated Red Witch. Hey, Baron Temple. Good evening, uh, Edison. Great to make your acquaintance again. Nice uh, to meet you. Fantastic. Um, Annabelle. Annabelle. Yeah, the yeah. red jacket kind of gives it away. Oh, yeah. so you've heard of me. We've all heard of you. Sweet. Yeah, and uh, Miss Eva, right? Yes. Yeah, you're correct. pretty legendary too. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for your hospitality. I just want you to make sure that when you go back that you, you tell the others that you were Treated well? Yeah, treated well, had a great time. Absolutely, I was a little peckish when I got here, but mm -hmm. your your service, your your, your <clears throat> bottle service, fantastic. That's well, you wanna make sure that everyone has a, a good time. I was gonna say a memorable evening, but sometimes maybe not so much, but at least an enjoyable evening. Uh, I've had a great time, appreciate it. So- Why does uh, that keep happening? It's, you know, again, we're working on this light show thing. I mean, again, I'm trying to like, yeah. cause, cause like Universal City, it's not too far away. You know, they do the fireworks every night and Disney does the fireworks. Yeah. I'm trying to, I just want a thing, like a thing, like an iconic thing. It's, we're working on it. Uh -huh. okay. We're working on it. Um, what is your business, Edison? Like, I mean, I know, you know, White Tower, um, you know, Toreador, but I mean, like, what's your thing? White man? Tower. You mean the Camarilla? Ivory Tower, I just- We can say that here, right? It's, yeah, you yeah. can. Okay, cool. Maybe not out there. It does seem like a good idea out yeah, there. No, but like, yeah, we know, we know what's up. Uh, ivory, right. ivory tower. I want to, mm -hmm. this is, respect, diplomacy, ivory tower. Sure. Uh, you know, a little of this, a little of that. I'm in, I'm in art, I'm in business, film sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, television, my, you know, my people tell me streaming's the new thing. I don't really understand it, but I hear it's good. Your people are right. Yeah. So, uh, okay. I guess, uh, you know, the, the child of a legendary Hollywood mogul would be a, a very good contact to have, huh? Oh, you mean Velvet, Velvet. Yeah, absolutely. Stay yeah, she's, she's incredible. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What, I mean, poise, grace, charm. Mm -hmm. And she knows her way around Hollywood. There's lots of other adjectives, all true, mm -hmm. all true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The 
forgive me if I'm wrong, because I, I was told this some time ago, and I lead a eventful life. I'm sure you're. I'm sure you're very, very busy running stuff. What, the, what is the valley? Yes. Is that it? Yes. Uh, how, how's that going? Well, how, how do you like it? What do you think? Uh, wouldn't trade it for anything. Yeah, I don't think I'd like to be uh, bear or really in charge. Edison. No. I mean, you are, I'm so glad that you're here tonight. You are more than welcome. Yeah, Anybody. That's very kind of you. Thank you, Annabelle. Anybody from the Camarilla is welcome here, especially under the terms of our truce. Yeah. I, it is a bit. Well, I'll tell Prince Vannevar. He you is should. welcome. Definitely. He and Susan. No, I'm not, I'm not yeah. really going to do that. No, I, oh. I'm just saying yeah. he's welcome. Why I, did you say I, that? He doesn't get out a lot. Yeah, I can imagine. Suzanne might like it, though, the Seneschal. She's welcome to. It's a little modern for her, but you know. Does she get out much? N not too often. She's really got her hands full. <sighs> Once in a while, though. It, but, more like to the opera, you know, the symphony, um, a nice art gallery once in a while. But you're here. Yeah. You're here consorting with anarchs and... I personally don't have anything much against you as long as you stay out of our stuff. Ditto. You know, I've, I've never really been keen on the whole gotta fight, gotta kill each other thing. On the other hand, I haven't known a lot of anarchs. Yeah, because you're new to L.A. More or less. Are you new, period? Depends on what you mean by new. Uh, have you been turned recently is what he means. Oh, wow, direct. Yeah, um, I wasn't going to just say uh, that. But you know, is that rude? Just, no, you can't just ask someone if they've just been turned lately. But I mean. Why not? We'll talk about it later. You know, I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, the 40s were my time. Oh. There you get, this, there's a thing here. Oh, yeah. You like it? No, I'm into it, though. There are some incredible vintage stores up in, uh, you know, uh, well, part of your turf, like Burbank. Yeah, yeah. No, I use that. I can't. This stuff doesn't fit me. You know what I mean? Because, like, people weren't my size then. Because people aren't my size now, yeah. really. But, no, but that's a, uh, I like it. So, anyway, I, I don't much care what you do as long as you stay out of our stuff. So, one tiny little, tiny little thing. Uh, remember, like, you being new here. Yep. Your stuff, well, a lot of times, was already somebody's stuff. You know, can't help you there. I'm trying to help you there. It's something sounds like something above my pay grade. You know, it sounds like that sounds like print stuff. Sometimes. I mean, I'm not even primogen. Who is? You know, it's funny. The court is, it's really um, complex. Um, technically, I think Seneschal Suzanne is also the primogen of my clan. It hasn't really ever been made clear to me. Yeah, it seems it a little weird. It's double dipping. Even, it seems, it doesn't really seem representative. Yeah, the point is I don't make those decisions. Yeah. Does, does he have a full court? I only know I only know one. But, Beats me. Hmm. Things will be in... Run a little shoot from the hip over there, huh? Well, I mean, every city's different, right? As far as I understand it, some some have you know equal representation from every clan as long as it's got a uh, kindred in it, and some have like you know only the the eldest sit. On, I don't know. It's all kind of how I like it over here. I just as different. long as there's everybody kind of has like a voice, you know. Like we we try to be we try to at least listen to the streets to know what's going on. Anything else I can help you with? No, as long as there's nothing else we can help you with. Nah, I'm good. I just came with Velvet. You, uh, you know, a friend of mine, fashion designer friend of mine. She, who? She's way underground. She works. He wants to know if you know Amalia. Again, I wasn't just going to do I that. I know. You were going to just kind of tiptoe around it for yeah, a while. But Yeah, yeah, I know Amalia. Why? Because I also know Amalia. Oh, good. You good with Amalia? Yeah. Sure. Because I won't look you in the eyes and lie to you and say she and I are friends, but I will say her happiness would be useful to me. Terrific. Is it, uh, would you rather she know you were here or rather not know you were here? You know, I think that's really up to you. No, no it's saying. up to you. I'm we want you to be comfortable checking in the his club. wristwatch. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be late. I'm, I'm standing in front of Velvet's, uh, Velvet's yeah. waiting for me. 
Yeah. Yeah. So do give Amalia all your love is what you're telling me. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just making sure. It's really late. I don't want yeah. to keep Velvet waiting. Of course. She's, she can be really impatient. I'm sure she's she can. so amazing. Please enjoy the rest of your stay here. Hey, thanks. We'll see you at the salon. Right? Are you investing in her new thing? Absolutely. Yeah. That's just money. Anybody above your pay grade investing in her thing? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, good night. Good night. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. When he turns around to go to the door, I appear in front of the door. Duh! Huh. You know? (laughs) <laughs> I bet you think that's really funny. I do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, hi. <laughs> and I look at Baron. Yeah, you got to be Jasper. Uh, <laughs> that would be the case. Okay. Hi. <laughs> uh, you got me. Did, did you have something you wanted to ask no, Jasper? Just, he's good. Yeah. I open the door. I'm late. By all means. He leaves with alacrity. Probably literally. Cam- Campbell <laughs> lets him pass. <laughs> And sticks his head in. Sir, um, you've got more to see tonight. Um, Miss, I'm sorry, Baron. Baron Griffin, Miss Griffith. She's on her way. Yeah. Um, Mr. Nines has advised us that he will be paying a call as well. <laughs> Baron Nines, excuse me, Baron Nines. Yeah, he's, you know, he acts like he doesn't care about that kind of stuff, but I think if you called him Mr. Nines to his face, he'd probably be the one. I think you're probably right, sir. There, there, there may be others. I'm not entirely sure. I made certain that uh, Miss Kyoko left safely. And um, as you instructed, I made a high-powered rifle available to do me one, Do me one favor, sir. Uh, Campbell. Um, Sorry about the. In, I apologize. I almost got it. I sp- you know, Almost got it. honestly, I, I've kind of lost track of time myself. I don't know how long we got till Nelly gets here, but um, could you start moving out the club goers? It's a closing time, sir. House night over. Uh, the people here on business can stay, but uh, probably need to limit the exposure. You expecting trouble, sir? Always. You should always expect trouble. You have been paying attention. Yeah, I'm learning fast. It's- I mean... No, no, no. It, it, it took it took several lessons, but I, I feel like you're getting it. Yeah, um, just uh, I, I want to minimize the number of complications of Nellie's first official night as Baron. What about Kindred, who want to take advantage of house night, sir? Well, I'm still take my meetings. Uh, I understand, sir. Excuse me all. Got some things to prepare. You know, now that I said it out loud, it's one of those like cursed by hubris things, like something crazy is gonna happen because I said that something that we didn't want anything crazy to happen. It's... So, are you guys staying? You want to be here for Nelly? Are you gargoyle fighting? What are you? I think we're gonna go. Yeah. I um, want my gun back. I know. See what I can do. Thank you. Hey, if you need help, please. Oh no, I'll call you if it becomes a thing. I'm not going down there yet. Okay. I mean, I will shut this shit down and come. You know, I, you know, I will. I know, I know. I'll let you know. You're kicking it with me because you're a you're a, po- a political rising star now. Yeah, and I want to say congratulations to right? Baron Nelly. That's it. Like, I just want to see her face the first time somebody brings her one of those like Solomon things. Like, oh, we'll cut the baby in half. Like, I just want to like watch and see what she does. Cut the baby in half. It's a, it's it's a, a biblical Bible. thing. I know what it is. Just, just, just saying. Um, Annabelle. I'd like to give you something just so that you, everyone seems to know who you are now. I'd like you to be safe as well. Thanks, Eva. This is the last one I have. Is it a hug? No, there are more of those. (laughs) Hey, good. You may recognize from the last time Jasper needed it. Oh, yeah. You made more? Yes. There's a limited supply. Took a while. Jasper had one, but uh, he gave it away. Oh, uh, well, Kyoko needed it. Oh. I'd like you to have this one. Thank you. Aww. And so, the social and political geography of the valley begins to be made manifest. 
but this is the world of darkness. And so we must remind ourselves that in the world of darkness, nothing is as it seems, and yet everything is connected. Another night. Mm. Yep. So you, uh... I, this <clears throat> sounds stupid, I know, but you... I mean, obviously you were human once. Mm-hmm. I don't know, Nelly talks about you like you've been around fucking forever. I was around for fucking ever. Do you keep any of that? Do you... Remember, I don't know, like your humanity. Is that still part of you? Any, I don't know, I'm just, I wanna know what I'm getting into, what I have to look forward to and. What your life's gonna be like, you mean? Yeah, am I gonna be me at a certain point? What do you gotta be ready for? Like I've, I've been a ghoul for over a hundred years. There's a oh lot of God. things that like, just, I don't know, fade. And there's, there's times when I try to think back to what, you know, my life was like before, and the, but it's like, it's almost like flipping through somebody else's photo album and you don't know what to make of any of it. Sometimes I have these dreams that I can sort of feel it, but it's more like a feeling than a memory. I don't know. That doesn't bode great for me. No. Enjoy knowing bits and pieces of your life. You know, enjoy those memories while you have them. Jesus. That is, you, if you do this for a while. I don't know, what, is, what was your life like before this? <laughs> well, b before this, I was very intently hunting and killing blanks. That was... What? I mean, I've, you know, that's why I joined the FBI. I've, 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 I've felt pretty strongly that there was something out there. Something dark since I was very, very young. But I couldn't do anything about it. With the FBI, I had a chance to maybe get the resources to actually find the people doing this. Because they're not all like Nelly out there. I'm, I'm sure you know this. It's fucking ironic that you're <laughs> working for Nelly now. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I, she's the one who made me realize that maybe you're not all the same, but a lot of you are. A lot of you don't worry about who you kill or what you leave behind. Yeah, you know, a lot of uh, morals are the same way. I guess we're not all so different. But we're not fucking magical, so... She's um, the fucking blonde guy's back. What's he doing? He's just pacing back and forth again. He's going to the street light. He's not pressing the walk button. <laughs> doubling back. I feel like he's waiting for something. He's done this both nights in a row now. I don't know. I feel like I'm reading into everything now. I... Maybe it's nothing. It's late. It's what it is. Get used to the long nights. Yeah. I'm getting there. <laughs> Thank you.